All right, hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and don't forget please to give a like for the videos when we start because Muslims always they fight our videos by trying to report it and by giving like we protect our videos to stay there. Actually, the flag one of my videos and hoping that YouTube will take it, but guess what? What happened is the opposite. The video stay there and now you will see a notification when you try to open it says this video might be offensive which will make more people want to see why this video is more offensive so most times they try their best but you cannot especially my videos are downloaded shared everywhere so keep trying today our topic is about fear Fear is a very, very important, um, let us say, practice, or let us say, a play a huge impact on the cult of Islam. Now, before we start for today, I want to remind you that tomorrow we have. Uh, I will be with the apostate prophet many of you know him already and uh, we confirm that tomorrow is going to be the date we will be together and i will share his video with you many people are asking now if christian prince would let us see his face i don't believe he would i will ask him about that but i don't believe he would yeah many people ask would christian prince show his face i'm not sure why people are obsessed with my face I wish I am handsome. I would put the camera right away. But I'm afraid if I put the camera on, I will lose you all. I mean, maybe in next life. It's made a super chat. Thank you so much. What do you think about Christian Prince? Uh, to be honest, I haven't looked very much into his work. I know that he makes a lot of uh, a lot of live chats, a lot of live debates. He makes people call him and 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 debate them. That's a very very nice thing to do. He puts a lot of energy into that. I couldn't do the same thing, to be very honest. Uh, I I think he does great work. He has a lot of knowledge on the Arabic language, on Islam. Um, he also published books. I haven't read them. <laughs> But uh, Christian Prince will actually be here with me at the beginning of January. But I will announce that very greatly. Many people want me to talk to Christian Prince. I will do that. Many people are asking now if Christian Prince would let us see his face. I don't believe he would. I will ask him about that, but I don't believe he would. All right. Well, as long as we are talking about fear, I think this is one of the reasons I don't want you to see my face because that would generate fear. Um. Me, myself, actually, I get scared when I see myself in the mirror. Actually, this is a true story from Sahir Bukhari. It says in Sahir Bukhari that the Christian prince, when he do go fishing, he don't take any tour with him. He just look, just look at the fish and the fish die. And like, whoa, she have a heart attack, you know, stroke. So uh, this is a true story, by the way. As long as it's in Sahir Bukhari, it must be a true story. All right. Now, as you see, the topic today is about fear. And how fear can make you uh, stick into a belief. Many people notice that Islam, uh, it's, a, it's a profession in Islam to, be, to do terrorism. But Muhammad was the first terrorist anyway. When Muhammad, he said, I was, or I've been victorious by terror, the first question we should ask ourselves why Muhammad he was victorious by terror and how terror can be making you victorious you see I can sit and talk to you and try to convince you of making a deal with me and you don't agree and then I can put a gun in your head and then in a second you sign the deal you sign even without reading the deal and that is exactly what Islam is about. Islam tried to put a gun in your head 
trying even if they can do it literally they will do it if they cannot then they will try to install fear in your heart if you remember once as long as we have a picture of a lady here we showed you how Muhammad he installed fear in the heart of Muslim women as a start and we will see that fear is everywhere <clears throat> Muhammad he claim speaking to women that the most people who go to hell are females if you go in the hadith We will find tons of stories about Muhammad scaring women that the majority of them they will be in hell. What what is the purpose? Why Muhammad trying to scare women? Saying to them that just because you are a female, you will go to hell. The answer will be found always. At the end of the story which Muslims try to avoid it if you read the story here you see Muhammad right away he start giving a speech in speeches to women specifically women and saying to them women oh women give alms for I have seen that the majority of the deliverers of hellfire were you women the women ask, Oh Allah Messenger, what is the reason for that or for it? He replied, Oh women, you curse frequently and you are ungrateful to your husband. I have not seen anyone more deficient in intelligence and religion than you. Women, oh women, some of you can lead the Keshus wise men astray. Then he left, and when he reached his house, Zainab, the wife of Ibn Mas'ud, come and ask permission to enter. It was said that Allah Messenger, it is Zainab. He asked, which Zainab? The reply was that she was the wife of Ibn Musab. He said, yes, allow her to enter. And she was admitted, and then she said, O Prophet of Allah, Today you order people to give arms and I had an ornament and intended to give to give it as arm. But Ibn Mas'ud said he and his children deserve it more than anybody else. All right. Muhammad here he agree that the women her family deserve it more. Obviously they're very poor. And he don't like the gift. But if we go in different story, we will find that Muhammad, right away, as we see, he is, the purpose of the whole terror is to give alms. You have to give alms in order to be forgiven. If a woman, they will go to hell, for they are, have deficiency in their brain and their religion. So since when giving alms will make you go to heaven, If we go in different hadith, let us see. Here you see Muhammad, how he's trying to strip normal people around him from their money. And this poor woman, who she is very poor, and she have a bunch of kids and family, she found that now she have to give money to the Prophet because she will go to hell. How I can stop that? He, the prophet, he said from the beginning, give alms. And the alms to go to who? Not to the poor, not to Muhammad himself. And Muhammad, he claimed 
that the reason for women to go to hell because they curse a lot they lead men into astray and they are they have a lack of intellect and because they have their period but the major two reasons of going to hell they have a lack of intellect intelligence and common sense and they don't they have their administration this is what the lack of intelligence is oh sorry the lack of religion is all those stories in the front of us are very very authentic so Muslims cannot say this is a lie now if you are a Muslim women watching and listening to a prophet you believe he is a prophet what you will do you will give arms because now he just confirmed to you that the only way for you not to go to hell is to give arms in different hadith Muhammad he said that right away the women they start giving uh, uh, money to the Prophet and uh, uh, Bilal he start collecting the jewelries and the bracelets from their uh, uh, from 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 their hands he scared the hell of them you will go to hell and here you will notice that when Muhammad he speak about going to hell and he give the reasoning for them he reason using uneducated people naive people who they are trusting his words that he is saying the truth why we will go to hell you curse frequently but don't many curse frequently too I mean why Muhammad don't say the one who curse he will go to hell and by the way Muhammad himself he curse Muhammad even he claimed that he have a deal with his God because he used to curse a lot and even he beat people So why he will not go to hell Two men they came to Muhammad and Muhammad start cursing them and actually he start even beating them And Aisha she was wondering Why he is doing that and Muhammad he admit that he is abusing people And he claimed that he have a deal with his people That if he abuse people of from his people Allah will put a blessing on them for that abuse so if Muhammad curse and if Muhammad abuse it's a blessing for you but if you do abuse you go to hell do you see it so now women they have to work harder to get to heaven of Muhammad by giving donation imagine if I say to you if you don't donate to me you will go to hell maybe many of the naive ones of you will believe me and will start giving more money or even giving money even they don't want to give money because nobody want to go to hell Muhammad he don't say seek forgiveness and pray he said give alms this is the purpose of this story give arms to who to him and then here if you analyze the story you will see that Muhammad he himself is the one suffering from lack of intelligence because what the reason those women they will go to hell is the same reason he himself he practice every day he abused men and he beat them in the top of that Muhammad he said when a woman she asked him after he said I have not seen anyone more deficient in intelligence and religion than you let us say that this statement is a true 
which I don't agree with it at all because there's women who they are extremely smart and there's men who they are extremely donkeys, literally donkeys. And actually, make a woman with short skirt walking in the front of a scientist, in two seconds he will lose his mind and suddenly he became a rabbit. So who is the one who have a deficiency in his intelligence? Obviously, both. If this is the, the if if this is the scale, you know what you know. What I mean, if this is the scale about not to be in following God, I mean, here we go. Men and women they can be tempted, and actually, men they can be tempted easier. Which means he is the one who have half a brain. Is not the women who have half a brain. But if we go analyze this is speech. We will find that Muhammad not only he have a lack of intellect, he is speaking something extremely stupid. When somebody says that women they have a lack of intellect and they have deficiency in their intelligence, now if I am the maid of God, why I will go to hell because God made me not smart? Is that right? You see, speak here about gender, which means all the gender have is they, they share the same thing. Women they have a deficiency in intelligence. Question: Who is the one who created the women with this deficiency? The Muslim they will answer and they will say, Allah. Well, here we go. That means your God, Allah, is the one should go to hell. You know what I'm saying, guys? What is the fault of the women if he is, if her God created her such a way? Now she will go to hell because he made her this way. What about you make her have equal intelligence with the men according to you? And then if she if she do something bad, then here we go. We have a justice. But you say she will go to hell because she have a deficiency in intelligence. That means you are a stupid person. You have no idea what are you talking about. A person who is crazy he should not go to hell if he is literally crazy because he God did not give him the ability to recognize what is right what's wrong if God is about justice and obviously the God of Islam is not he should not judge women if they have lack of intellect because of the lack of the intellect Because lack of intellect should not be the reason to go to heaven or to hell if this is deficiency made by God himself. As you see, it's not about an individual woman, it's about women. Then Muhammad, he want to prove to the women that they have deficiency in their intelligence. So he said, isn't it the Quran says that two women are equal to one man? In, in the case of witnessing the woman she asked what is the deficiency in our religion intelligence and religion Muhammad he said isn't it the evidence of two women equal to them witness of a one man look how stupid this answer is it is your God who said women are not equal to one man and now you are saying to them the proof that you are not equal that what my God said right and here we ask ourselves again the same question if the women are not equal to men to be witnesses then why that will be a reason to go to hell because it's not their fault the Quran says that women they are not equal to men in witnessing because women they are which mean equal like let's say two women equal to one which means they are half a brain they have half a brain of a human being so the Quran says so if one of them forgot the other one remind her but men they don't even remember what they ate yesterday women if you take your wife to a party or wedding or anything you ask the wife she will tell you what people were wearing what kind of uh, perfume they have what kind of uh, 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 clothes they are they have hello
Are you there? Hello, uh, please, sir. Please, how are you, sir? I'm fine. Are you a Muslim, my friend? No, 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 no. Well, don't call me then, please. Until I say, you can call me. Only Muslims can call me, please. Don't call me unless you are a Muslim. Why you won't debate me? <laughs> Look at this guy. Let us see. Answer Abdul, the one saying to me, why you don't debate me? So why you don't debate me and you don't want to answer the, the sky? All right. Good one. Second guy. This guy, even his internet is not there. All of them, they want to challenge me, but when I call them, they don't even answer. All right. Let us see the third one. Any Muslim wanna call us? Call me. Hello? Hello. Hello. Yes, Abdul, how are you? Hi. So what do Hi. you think about your prophet saying that your mother she have half a brain? Oh man, I I, uh, I just want to tell you one thing. Don't tell me one thing. We have a topic. What do you think? I want you to tell me 10 things, not one. Start with the topic we are talking about. I don't want to talk about this uh, topic. Well, don't I call me care. then. I don't care. We have a topic. Don't you see? You want to tell me one thing? Who is a Muslim want to call us? What kind of a prophet is speaking that women, they will go to hell because the Quran says two women equal to one man to be witness in the court. Is that a reason to go to hell? Who is the stupid here? Who is the stupid here? Yes, Abdul. Fucking nigger. Fucking All right, Abdul. Thank you for reciting Quran. May Allah bless you with the Quran you just recited in the same way you speak. Filthy mouth. Garbage in, garbage out. Did I make the devil upset? Did I step in his toes or his nose or his tail? Who is a Muslim want to show us how this fear will work? Why he need to make fear in the heart of the Muslim women in order to make them go and make donation for him? Any Muslim? What is the logic? What kind of a prophet he is? Hmm? In different hadith, even Muhammad, he said that you are the wood of the hellfire. Imagine. Women are the wood of the hellfire. Do you see what it says here? The English translation says, 
give alms for most of them are the fuel for hellfire and right away after Muhammad he said that the poor women they start giving out their bracelet and their earring and Bilal he start collecting the money and the gold and the silver I mean this is a very powerful way to make people pay you so let us make it straight those women who gave their earring now they will not go to hell because they gave earring did you notice so they are bad anyway they are the fuel of hell they are disgusting they are filthy they are half a brain but if you give him your earring and your bracelet well you will go to hell no you will go to heaven now so the poor women they took off their rings and their bracelet and their necklace and their earring he stripped them out in a second scaring the hell of them because if you don't do so you are going to hell what kind of cult this cult is And since when I can bribe God and by giving him some earring, I will not go to hell no more. Let us say that Muhammad is saying the truth that was with women, they are going to go to hell. But how this is can be truthful that if we give Muhammad some bracelet, we will not go to hell no more. Isn't it obvious that this is a scam? And here he is using fear to scam you. The same logic Muhammad he used with men, but in different way. And when they ask him what is the lack of our religion he said don't you have menstruation i mean since when you go to hell because you have your period but isn't it the god who made them with period so now god will send them to hell because they have a period yeah because simply they don't fast the same as the rest of the muslims because they have a period they are forbidden it's you who forbidden them from fasting during the time they have their period so what is their fault what is the crime they commit why you don't allow them to have fasting when they have their period? When Muhammad is trying to prove the lack of intellect, he used a very false reasoning saying, isn't it the Quran says that two women equal to one man? And then he says, about them have a lack of in, uh, uh, they, they, they are bad in religion he said well isn't it true that women can neither pray nor fast during her messes i mean how stupid that is you are saying to those women that you will go to hell because they have their menses now you have to make a donation Who in the world, he have a little brain, he can accept such a garbage. Do we have any Muslim? So the woman, she have a period, now she will go to hell. Your mother and my mother, my friend, will go to hell because they have their period. Well, if they don't have their period, we will not be exist, me and you. This is a God and this is a prophet of God and this is your smart prophet. If this is the smart, who is the stupid? Bilal is a slave who Muhammad, he take him with him wherever he go to serve him. He is literally an African slave, poor guy 
Muhammad who abused him all his life. So pay me, you go to heaven. Okay, you are bad, you have a lack of intellect, you have a lack of intelligence, you are going to go to hell, you are not good, but if you pay me, forget it. You are going to go to heaven, my friend. Where is your intelligence, Muslims? Isn't it obvious that this guy is a scammer? Do we have any Muslim want to say something? How in the world you can accept? Such a cult. In Muhammad, in order to make you live in fear, he come with tons of fiction and stories. As an example, you are a Muslim who want to go and have sex with your wife. I have a very bad news for you. There is terror involved in sex. You need the God of Muhammad to prevent shaitan from rounding himself around your penis. If you don't say a certain prayer, shaitan he will round himself around your penis and he will be doing your wife. So now Muhammad, by making you believe in such a garbage, he forced you to pray to his God Asking for protection, so Allah will be like a condom to protect your penis when you have sex. Is that really a messenger of God? Is that the message of God? Is really God is exist to protect my penis? This God who I believe in him, he will not protect my penis unless I say this prayer. Is that an activation for the kingdom of Allah? To make it more clear, you as a Muslim, you are not protected by Allah when you have sex with your wife unless you say those words otherwise you've been screwed you are going to have a threesome with your wife you and the shaitan and your wife have fun I remember a Muslim he used to come to a chat room and here was he come to the microphone and he say you Christians are the sons of the devil why because he's talking about this because we don't say the prayer when we have sex with our wives so I said to him as usual are you sure he said yes I said this hadith are you sure about it he said yes I said are you sure three times he said what's wrong with you I told you it's sure I said okay but this is mean your prophet himself is the son of the devil because you're a prophet father he was unbeliever which means when he have sex with his mother the mother of Muhammad he did not say this prayer that's mean Muhammad himself is the son of the devil the guy who took the mic start cursing me crying may Allah kill you may Allah destroy you <laughs> it's not my fault if you are being stupid how Muhammad says to you if you don't say this prayer you will be the son of the devil but he himself is a person who is born from two individual who don't believe in Allah stupidity it's not my fault what about going inside the bathroom 
what can protect your anus from the devil in the bathroom I mean you are under the threat look how Muhammad he control every corner of your life like you cannot even go to the bathroom no more without fear fear is very important in order to make you not to think about if Muhammad is a prophet or not because now you have fear about everything you are worried your life will not be good without Muhammad the messenger of Allah said the screen between the eyes of the jinn and the nakedness of the children of Adam when one you enter the area the bathroom of revealing oneself is saying bismillah oof, 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 oof. So now I want to enter the shithole, excuse my language, and I cannot be there unless I say the name of Allah. I mean, how holy this religion is. My friend, you have a problem. Shaitan will see your ass. And do you know how dangerous that is? He will not only look, he will play with it. I can show you different hadith where it says he will play, he will go in. So now in order to protect our ass from the shaitan, we have to say certain words, otherwise we are in danger. Fear of being seen naked by shaitan. And you will notice here, Shaitan, he can see you naked only in the bathroom. But aren't you the one who said to me, before we have sex, we have to say this, otherwise Shaitan cannot hurt us? People don't have sex in the bathroom. I mean, this is silly. So Shaitan is in the bedroom too. Hello? Assalamualaikum, Christian Prince, you're on. Wa alaikum, as -salam. Yes, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Yeah. And the Muslim family on okay. What do you think about videos. what do you think about this, my friend? Uh, what you on, on screen now? I'm talking about your prophet saying, like, if you go in the bathroom, you don't say certain prayer, shaitan, he will do something to your ass. What do you okay. think? Okay, now, yeah, um, what do I think of that? I've heard, I've been watching your videos for past five, six months, been following me for about five, six months. Um, uh, some my Muslim brothers and friends have come across and said that uh, these are interpretations of people living in the past which do not really have knowledge. That's what I'm thinking. I don't, you know, I don't really believe. Give me your interpretation. You are, you are living, my friend, in the year 2019. Give me your interpretation. Go ahead. What is, why you need right, to say wait. certain prayer before you go to the bathroom? You give me your interpretation. I'm listening. My interpretation, you don't need to say any prayer to go to that. So why like Muhammad said, he said that then? Why he said that? He was making fun of us? He was, he was lying to us? This, um, the inter interpretation of the person who, who said is Muatta, is it Muatta? I'm just, sorry, I'm just following looking at YouTube, this is going up. Oh no, I'm showing you from many places. This is not necessarily here, anything, whatever, whatever you want. And, you know, we are showing you, uh, you know. But uh, you, yeah, sorry, like, if you do interrupt. Yeah. You understand my point? What I'm saying that this is like people. I mean, a lot of people have said that these are people living in the era, like I mean, the year 2018. Now mm -hmm. they're living in the era of whatever it is to 15, 14 years ago, Islam. Yeah, 14, 15, 15 years ago. What their understanding of this is, they're putting yeah. down that. Well, I mean, I can't understand why you 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 want to say a prayer to have a shit. Sorry, excuse my friend. Sorry about that. Yeah, no problem. But you know, it's at the end of the day. You as a Muslim, how you mm. how you deal with this madness? I mean, you're a prophet, obviously. He said those things, and now That's the true. Muslims they try to say, "Oh, this is da'if and this is a sahih and etc." Just to avoid, uh, you know. I don't think um, Islam is based upon these Muslims that you get on. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not. I am born in a Muslim family, and okay. What about I'll the Quran? Follow. Do you think the Quran is uh, is is based on fear? Yeah, I do believe it's based on fear. I okay, do. so I what, mean, why? Why? Let us see. Do you know when Muhammad he said he said to the Christians specifically and the Jews that if you don't believe on me, I am going to erase the details of your faces? Yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, 
okay I so, mean, that, that so what is that i mean why 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 such a statement is there and if a muhammad is a true prophet imagine now you call me and i say to you my friend if you don't believe in me before you hang up a phone tonight my lord will erase your eyes and your nose and he will make your nose upside down will go inside your head and your eyes will go and your eyebrows will go and your mouth will be stitched stitched and you cannot even talk why is that so, sounds like a film doesn't it um no um no, that, that don't make sense but uh, i would like to put something in towards this that like um i do agree with you this is not the Uthman quran or the, the quran that muhammad said that these four uh, sahaba would bring forward this is the Hafs version right and maybe there's some misinterpretation i don't want to say corrupt but maybe some in, in misinterpretation of things come along no, but all Muslims, you see, the problem is, I don't see any mm. Muslims saying this is not the true Quran. All the Muslims, they say that this is the Quran. So and I'm, the, not a, I'm not a Shia. Sorry, sorry, CP. I'm not a Shia, but um, I, I do speak to some friends who are Shia, and they say that uh, Ali had actually memorized the Quran, and um, he will bring forth that Quran because the, 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 the companions or the Sahabas said, no, we don't accept this Quran. But he, they, they will bring forward that Quran. That is the true pre preservation. I don't know where, where. Yeah, where but you are Sunni anyway. So Sunni, this is what they have, and even yeah. even the Shia. I mean, the Sunni, Sunni. Uh, you see the the Quran. There's no Quran actually. I believe there's no Quran. It's a, it's a, this is not. This is just a collection of stories. Nobody knows where they are coming from. But however, as long as the Muslim believe that this is their book and they call it holy book, then we have to deal with the holy book they have in their hand. So. When a, when a God, he is trying to convince me to believe in Muhammad and me as a Christian, and he said to me, oh, you have to believe before we elaborate faces erasing the eyes and the nose and the eyebrows in them and turn them inside out and make them like naps of the necks of a flat plate or curse them by transforming them into apes as we cursed and transformed those who broke the Sabbath. So, this God obviously he gave up. He could not convince me to believe in Him. So now, what He's saying to me today, huh? Today, you better do mm. it now before I do this to you. I'm going to erase your eyebrows. I mean, what kind of a threat this a threat is? How it silly and how stupid, right? Yeah, it doesn't make sense now. It doesn't make sense. And as you see, but... I'm showing the screen even how the Muslim give interpretation. This is not my interpretation. It's not me who is saying this is what it says, right? Is this Jalalain or is this? This is a Jalalain. Yes, we can. I can change it for you. It doesn't matter. What you, whatever you like. We can no, 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 no. They all gonna say the same. Yeah. Any different words. So what I kind of? Uh, and here we go. We did not believe in Muhammad. Why Allah did not erase my eyebrows? Yeah, I. Uh, that's my question as well. You know, obviously this was a scam. It's just a threat. And Muhammad is not capable. His God is a fake. He was scaring people, trying to convince them to join his religion. Otherwise, mm -hmm. and you see here, the Muslim, they cannot say this is in the judgment day because he compared this as the same as he did to the Jews. And supposedly he did that already to the Jews in the past. It's not in the judgment day. Okay. No, this being set aside, I agree upon what you're saying there. I don't agree with this as well. But my question to you is this, that... Um, the year 2018 we have a different understanding of things how they are we have an, uh, an understanding of how the universe operates we don't we know the moon doesn't the sun doesn't go into murky water we know the sun is in, in deep space and we orbit itself we, we have an understanding these people who actually gave gave um, their views on what these meant maybe they never uh, had an understanding of what is what you know you but what do you do now or? today in the, as a Muslim today? I have no idea. I mean, did you decide to be Muslim, my friend? Well, CP, listen, the thing is, right, I'm scared. You know, what I'm scared of, not people, I'm scared of my soul. My soul is what is going to be punished or is going to be actually given hope, you know, spirituality. Like, this is what I fear. I mean, I'm, I, I followed you, I've seen. Uh, Islam's not based on Zakat Naik. Islam's not based on hijab or the turkey with him, right? It's not based on them. Islam is based on the Quran, the text I have to look and read. And when I look at them, I get confused. I mean, I, I watch you, 
and I listen to you and I, I see everything on there and I just look and check and I can't fault you. I just can't fault you, but I fear for my for my soul. My you friend, know? do you know the topic today? The topic, the topic is the, the title is the logic of fear to drive the crowd into Islam. So now you are saying to me that Muhammad was successful to drive you into the fear to stay as a Muslim because you fear. But as you see, this is cannot be from God. So what is the fear from? I mean, this guy, here we go. He threatened us as a Christians. And he said clearly, if you don't believe in me, which means before you die, I'm going to raise your eyebrows. I'm going to make your face upside down. I'm going to take your eyes away. I'm going to make your mouse. It's, uh, look at the description, crazy. And yeah. obviously, he can do nothing to you. So where is the fear coming from, my friend? Obviously, this God. Here we go. Who is more spanking Allah more than Christian Prince? I wish he will erase my eyebrows. Go, you know, do me do me a favor, please. No, no. I what about you erase my mustache? That that would be good. Uh, what about my beard? I shave every day, you know. So, uh, this God obviously is a false God, a God who make a threat, he cannot do it. Obviously, he is an idiot. Same time, all the stories in the Quran is stupid. I mean, God, because they, the Jews they break the Sabbath, he make them pigs and monkeys. But somebody he rape a woman, he don't make him a pig and the monkey. Which one is bigger? Raping the woman. Or somebody is raping a child, or somebody kidnapping people, or etc. So since when this is can be a logic of fear can control over me if this logic is not a true, is a stupid. Somebody mm. did fishing, and actually, if you read the story about the breaking the Sabbath, you will see that those people, Allah, He made them fish in Saturday. He forbid them from fishing in Saturday, but He made the fish come to them only in Saturday. So look yeah, at yeah, this. I'm familiar. Yeah, He's look sorry. at this logic. I will I will say to you don't do fishing in Saturday this is Sabbath and then I will make the fish come only in Saturday and not only that yeah. the fish jump in the top, the top of the water and they say to you uh, 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 you know like what the heck is that so now who is the criminal so well, according to what you're saying the, the criminal is you know the person who's making come on sad yeah. isn't it and this is this is a, this is exist in the Quran I mean we can show that interpretation is very stupid very stupid can this you tell me the verse in the Quran where you say yeah this is a chapter yeah. 7 verse 163 let us go there please what kind of a mad prophet this prophet is you have a mental illness you know let us see. I hope you are not getting offended by what I say, but this is how I see it. You know, I'm saying what I believe. TP, uh, if I was getting offended, I would actually reply back straight away. All right. I listen, uh, like I say, I'll be listening. So okay, read with me. If, if you want me to try to change the translate the Jalalain, we will change it. No problem. No, I'm reading. Read, read loud. Um, uh, no, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll mumble. Sorry, I'll, let me just I'll, if I read to myself in my head, I'll, I can understand it. The lad was beneficial in Sabbath, and they transgressed by late the Sabbath by fishing. They had commanded not to do this on the day. That verbal qualifier of your time, they would transgress the fishing on the day of Sabbath. Surface, the surface of the water, but but on the on the day they did not observe the they would try and straight the Sabbath over. They were trying to speak in us and when they went to fish the, the city split into three, one third join. So to make it simple. Yeah. Allah he forbid him from fishing on Saturday, but Allah he made the fish come to them on Saturday only. The whole week they disappear, and then the fish they come in the top of the water doing ballet. Hey, 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 we are here. You cannot fish us. Now those are fishermen. They have a family to feed. So what kind of God he do such a game? I mean, wh how stupid is that? Is can I see the the Quran Surah in this place? Yeah, because. This is the, the this is the verse, uh, you know. Do you know Arabic? 
No, I can. Um, it's like French. I can read French, but I cannot understand it. It's okay. just letters. Is, I can just pick it up like. That. No, no problem. We can, we can go to the. That trans. That was um, uh, a translation, wasn't it? That uh, like, say, like Jalaleno. Yeah, this is interpretation. Here we see the translation. If you speak French, I advise you to get my book. No, I the said French. I can read French. Is so like I was trying to give a comparison to like the French letters are like the same letters as the English. Like um, I can read French, but I cannot understand. It's like Arabic. I can read the Arabic, but I cannot understand it. I can the yeah. letters I can make out the same like. This is the Arabic. This is the English. What's then? Can you? Make that go to the left. That's it. Yeah. The country was. Let's see. How did they break the Sabbath? How the big fish came onto them visibly upon the Sabbath day, and the day when they did not keep the Sabbath came not unto them. Thus we did try them. Yeah, um, yeah. I agree with you. Why they want to try them on the Saturday when they? Yeah. No. You see, if you want to be just, yeah. bring them the fish all the week, and then if they fish yeah. on Saturday, that means they are bad people, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But you tell them only you can fish in the in six days of the of the, of the week, and this day you cannot fish, fish. But you bring them the fish. You are the one who bring the fish only on Saturday. That's not fair. There are people mm. they want to live. They have, they have a you created them with a stomach. They need to eat. So what they will do? They have a family to feed. So now. What kind of God this God is? I mean, this God is, is, is playing games with us. Okay, I agree with you upon this, right? So, um, um, even on you, you know, you've said like this is a half translation, and I've done a bit of research on that as well. And I've actually found out that you're not making nothing up, like you know, everything you say is, is, it is, it is truthful. Um, this maybe it's, it's just not, I mean. They, there was a Quran which they tried to carbon date, which even predates Muhammad itself, right? Um, so maybe this is not right, or that that one I... actually, even that one, my friend, it was not for the the words; it was for the the material, not for mm. the writing. It's for the leather. You know, the leather is a predate yeah. Muhammad himself, but it's not it the writing. It's not the Quran because the Quran. You see, the the first Quran written, there's no dots. There's no valves, right? Yeah. And yeah, right yeah. away you see that this this one have valves and have dots. So this is after, long after. So the Quran of Muhammad, nobody have it anyway. And the Muslim, when they find like this, the one you are talking about, they made a party about it. And even this one is not the same. But here it doesn't matter really if the Quran is corrupt or not. I mean, I don't I don't spend my time speaking about the corruption of the Quran because who cares if it's corrupt or not? You cannot prove the corrupt to be corrupt again. I mean, what the point? No, there's no point on that. No. I believe the Quran is a false book, and then I want to prove to you that the, the 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 false book is corrupt. It's corrupt anyway. Let us say it is the original, as it is Muhammad. He have it. Who care? This is enough for me to prove mm. that is is false. So if Should I am be, if, um, I, if I am you sorry. if I am you I will denounce Islam right now, my friend. You are smarter than this. Say it. Say I'm out of Islam. <laughs> Come on, you are you are, you are not. You are a man. You're a man. I can tell you are not. You are not one of those, you know, uh, uh, potatoes. You're a man. Say it. No, you can call me a donkey. You can call me a potato. I don't mind. You can call me Abdul. But um, I, I, I have followed you some time now. I can't. I can't. Why well, you cannot? You, I mean, no, no I'm, check, I'm not saying. Check, no, I can't. It's not about you. insulting check. me. It's not about you. See, this is. No, 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 no. My no, friend, no, so I didn't say it's an insult to me to believe in this. So you, I know you will not accept you to insult yourself to believe in this because the second I say I believe in this, it's me I'm insulting myself. So I'm, I'm saying to you, do you really believe in this? CP, my soul's at stake here. You know. Let us make the question clear. Forget about your soul now. Do you really believe in this? No. Okay, so that's it. You're, you're out of Islam. Why you didn't say it? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what is missing here? You just said no. You don't believe in but this. Do you, but do you, do you understand my, you know, my, 
my soul's at stake here. You know, my, my friend, the, this God, he cannot hurt your soul. This God is the devil. He is hurting you by 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 following this, not by by leaving it. This God, he can do nothing. You know, this God, he made a chapter. It's called the chapter of the elephant. You heard of it, right? Yeah, the elephant. Yeah, okay, what is the elephant chapter? That there's an army well, came to destroy the Kaaba, and Allah He sent birds, and the birds they throw rocks, and the rocks they destroy the 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 army which want to destroy the Kaaba. Where was the bird of Allah when the American are flying in the top of the Kaaba with the F-16? Well, where, where so is the any, where is the army of Allah? The birds when Al Qurmuti came and destroyed the Kaaba literally stone by stone, and he was screaming. Not only he destroyed, he was screaming in the middle of the Kaaba, saying, "Allah, where is your where is your birds?" And then he took the stone for more than 21 years and then the Muslim they have to pay a ransom So he might return it back and he sent it to them pieces You know this story that you said about um, The Kaaba stone disappearing is that from the hadith or is that, is that Yeah, this is all from this yeah, because this is long after Muhammad, you know Yeah, yeah, no, no, I don't want to say I just want to ask you this right? from the history from... of Islam All the Muslims agree with it. The Kaaba actually destroyed many times be by Hajjaj well, uh, destroyed by the Qurmati, destroyed, destroyed many times. So, but Al Qurmati, he did something different from the rest. Al Qurmati, he stood in the top of the of the Kaaba after being destroyed, mm -hmm. and he was screaming to Allah, saying, "Where is your bird?" <laughs> Which means you are a liar. Here we go. The whole story about the elephants in the Quran is nothing but a lie. Well, yeah, the first thing that came to my head was like the elephants need water. What are they doing in the sub-Saharan desert? Like, they ain't going to survive there. How, they how they cannot the even reach water? Mecca. How you can bring an army of elephants into Mecca? Well, that's the first thing that came to my head. And that's what I when I started questioning. I start searching. I start searching and start looking. And I came across you. And my, my friend, if, if the Kaaba is protected by the birds of Allah, why the Saudi are buying the F-16 of American and the Awaks? I mean, who, who, come on, your land is protected by the birds of Allah. Well, that, that is a surah of the Quran, isn't it? The bird pelted, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. this is chapter yeah, 105 in the Quran, chapter 105, you know? Yeah, uh, yeah, I do remember that one, yeah. The elephant, he needs 600 gallons of water a day, an average. So, not only just to drink, just to wet his, his skin, because they don't sweat, they die. Even in Africa... Mm -hmm. Elephant during mm -hmm. the day they stay inside the water or in the under the shade because they cannot survive This is why you see most of those animals. They are huge ones in Africa They sit inside the water to keep themselves cool They cannot mm -hmm. live without the water. They have to live in an area have a lot of water Otherwise they will die literally So how in the world you want to convince me that this is an army of elephants coming to destroy the Kaaba going through the desert of Saudi Arabia for thousands of kilometers without water, you know. Yeah, no, that's what I quite. That's what I, I said to myself. And that's what I was thinking about elephants in, so, in the Middle East. So, shall we say? Let I will ask. I will ask you the question Sorry. again. You been to Hajj? Huh? I've been to Hajj. What about the, the weather? There. What about the black it stone? Very, very did, did, did you kiss Sorry. it, my friend? Did you kiss the black stone? No, I, I never kissed the black stone. Why I did you not kiss it. it, man? You miss a lot. <laughs> I did. I did. There was a big, big rush there. I mean, I couldn't get near it. I mean, I listen. I, I look. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I followed it um, passionately. I did. I followed it passionately. I was practicing for five years nonstop. Five, you know, five times a salah, you know, a day. Five years nonstop, and then. I started reading and started looking at things and and start thinking, you know, this is this don't make sense. This don't make sense. And when I say the elephants part come up and think, hang on, elephants need water. And that's when I start questioning. And then I start looking, looking, looking. But you know, I kept saying to myself, my soul, I I fear, I I, I fear for my soul. I do seriously, I do, I do. You don't know how. How it feels like but my friend everybody has there is no mm. fear i have no fear from the god of islam for a very simple reason he is fake he cannot be god god is not stupid he don't say stupid things you know and the black stone not. is additional proof that muhammad is nothing but a pagan when abu Bakr he was speaking to somebody who is he don't like because he is not being a muslim abu Bakr he said to him <laughs> you know what bother lat mean no go and suck the clitoris of a lat yeah i've heard about that yeah okay so uh, the yeah. black stone looked like a vagina and present 
the god of fertility a lad have a brother have a clitoris mm. so now go and suck it you don't like us as Muslims you don't like Muhammad you don't like Allah okay go and suck the clitoris of a lad and this mm. is the hate in the front of you when you read the Muslim translation we don't see that by the way in English I did not see it where there's nowhere in this hadith it says go and suck the clitoris of a lad nowhere I could not find yeah. it in Arabic is something mm. in English is something else so yeah this is a very cult religion have you ever heard of a religion teaching you that if you touch stones they erase your sin oh. yeah no no I heard about that as well that's why I was trying to get close to to, to the stone myself as well I mean I was just it, it's, it's blind uh, don't get me wrong I'm, I'm not trying to criticize myself but just like blind pa passionate faith um just purely believing I, d I don't believe to actually kill other people to make myself feel better I, I was believing you know I believe that this was this this was my passion this was this is right this is you know this is it I practiced five times for five years I, I, you know I, I practiced I prayed I bowed down and I fasted as well I've done everything and I've done it passionately as well I had a girlfriend and I came back and I said to her, look, I can't touch you. I've done Hajj. I, you know, we need to do a nikah, you know, nikah, which I thought meant marriage. And then afterwards, I'll find out what nikah. Then when I look at nikah, what it means, you know, yeah, somebody comes to me and says, I want to do nikah with your daughter. I'm going to look at him and say, you know what? what the fuck? Sorry, sorry about my French, but what the hell are you talking about? I would find that vulgar as well. Just why somebody saying that to me as well. They want to do nikah with my daughter. No. You want to take marriage? You don't want to marry my daughter? Yeah, that's different. But then I start thinking about this stuff. But anyway, now I said to my girlfriend, "Look, you know, we need to. I want to only use the word nikah. I said, well, we need to get married before I can actually touch you. That's how passionate I was. Mm. And then I started reading, 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 and then I come across the, and I'm just thinking, hang on, I started questioning myself. This don't make sense. This don't make sense. And I was, and I kept saying to myself, maybe like it's a different era. You know, maybe that like, it's just I think differently now, and then people think maybe it's the wrong translation. This is why I keep saying I said to you in the start when I came on, I said maybe it's the, what what they thought it meant at the time because they're living in that past era. No, my friend, it's in Arabic. This, it's in Arabic. It's clear. We are Arab. We speak Arabic. This is our language, and there's no need for mm -hmm. translation. So no, they did not get, get it wrong. There is some stuff Muslims get it wrong. As an example, Muhammad did not know how to write or to read. I agree with that. But still, I have to go with it because Muslims, they believe in that. So I don't really, as long as they believe in it, it's not a problem. But from what I learned from you, that you don't believe mm. in this garbage anymore. So why you are don't, why you don't say I'm out? Just say it. You know what? Well, I'm going to hold you responsible for my soul goes to hell. I'm out of this. All right. Thank you very much. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. He is out right. of this garbage. I'm really happy for you. You don't fit there. You are not. You, you, you cannot be but there. You, you remember my word. I'm going to hold you responsible for my soul. All right. You are, you are responsible and I am responsible for making you leave this cult. And don't worry. I say to you, do you know how many people I meet made, made them leave Islam every month? So I am responsible. I don't fear anyone for doing this. I did just today. I just did good. By helping you to go out, I don't. I have no fear for for what I am doing because simply this is the right thing to do. Now, my friend, me as a Christian, mm. you know, I'm Christian Prince, right? Yeah. Which means I am a Christian person, and I invite you right now to accept the Messiah as your Lord, as your Savior. What do you think about the Messiah? I have a lot of respect for Jesus, right? Yeah, I have a, a lot, a lot of respect for Jesus, and. Uh, even you know, even, even through your videos, which um, I I used to believe that Isa was Jesus, and when I watched your videos and, and I start questioning that Isa been Maryam, and then and he, Maryam had a brother called Aaron, and Aaron was never Maryam's brother. Even even the stories there related that Jesus was sinful and he was raised to heaven, and you know, and it wasn't meant Jesus wasn't on the cross. Anyway, putting all that aside, he's sinful, right? He, I, I do believe that I have a lot of respect for Jesus. I, I don't, but 
I need to do a bit more research and watch you much, much more. Okay, what is it preventing you? If what is it preventing you now from saying I believe in Jesus as my savior? Can, maybe I can help you. Maybe because I haven't read Bible scriptures right to actually uh, understand Jesus' life more in detail. That you know, because. <sighs> It's just confusing the CPO just well, you know the the, the Messiah is a very uh, Simple person to understand He's good. He's wise. He's wonderful. He is loving. He's he's peaceful and he Taught us, you know, if I give you two two words of Jesus you can live with it uh, from their fruits You shall know them as an example. I do not need mm. to read the book right from their fruits You shall know them his name is a Christian Prince, but his fruit is bad Well, he is no Christian and he is no Prince as simple as that. You know what I mean? So yeah, from yeah. their fruit you shall know them wonderful wisdom very easy. It's not complicated. God is simple You know those who curse you bless them Love those who hate you those who curse you if you if you think about it Okay, I did not study the Bible. I did not read the whole book But look at Jesus saying to me something is very useful and very healthy for all mankind even according to science according to doctors those mm. who have no like uh, uh, energy for revenge they don't want to revenge they don't want to hate people even the one who harmed them they live happier and they die happy so even by science if you practice the teaching of Christ that you don't hate your enemy love your enemy you will live happy until the last second in your life so Jesus bring peace inside you and in your inner bring peace around you because even the enemy around you you don't see them as enemies you know? You don't have fear. Mm -hmm. He killed the fear inside you. When you don't see, when you don't see any any uh, any enemies, that means I killed my fear from you being my enemy. Even maybe you hate me, but I don't have the fear no more. For I love everybody. Okay, you kill me, you wanna kill me? Okay, but I don't hate you. So here you will see that Jesus, he brings something new to our life, which he make us new mankind. Is not the kind who want to revenge for somebody who hurt me. Is not the kind who hate and just you want to practice hate just because that will make me more satisfied. As the Quran says, fight them, kill them by your hands. Allah, He punish them. Jesus don't want that from you. He want you to live and to be happy. Mm. So when I say to you, accept Jesus, it's not just about accepting Him as your Savior in the Judgment Day. Actually, He saved you today because today you are in fear, as you told me. Today you are confused as you said to me, but by practicing few sentences of what Jesus said, your life will change. I will overcome the fear. We don't want you to worship Jesus because you have fear, but because you have love. Not because Jesus is going to punish you because you did not believe in him, but because Jesus, he wants you to be saved and Jesus, he loves you. So we have a different approach of how we see our Lord, our Savior, even when we pray as a Christian, and I'm sure you know, we say our Father, right? Yeah. There's a huge difference between saying our Father and we are a slave of Allah. So for us, we don't, even though, I mean, God, He can demolish us. He can He can force us into slavery if He want. He can make us whatever He want. But even here, you will see that He wants you to speak to Him as a Father. So our Father out of heaven. So the relationship mm. between us and him is not about slavery and abuse. It's about love and being the children of God. So when I invite you to accept Jesus, I'm not ex uh, asking you to just to get a new God. I'm, ex I'm asking you to join a new family, a real family, where God is mm. our provider, our protector, and we have no fear, and we live in love and harmony with ourselves and people around us. So I invite you again to say, to accept, that Jesus is the one who will give you protection and will provide you with the harmony of love for your family, for your friends, for your society, and you will drop your hate and you will drop your fear and you will leave the darkness and you will be a new person. And that's why we call ourselves born again Christian. So again, I invite you to accept Jesus, my friend. Mm. Uh, you know everything you make it just said it just makes sense it just makes sense 
say it. It's 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 it's, it's just really, I, I you know. Did you say? Did you, did you say yes? <laughs> did you just say yes? <laughs> You know, I don't think you understand how, how bad this is. You know, I'm in tears. I'm so happy for you, my friend. I'm really happy for you. Actually, many of uh, many, uh, many people there will be crying with you. Don't. It's okay. Don't be shy from crying. So what a big deal. I mean, let your tears wash your sin, wash your fear, wash all the previous life, and be a new person. Be born again with Jesus, and you will be a new person. My friend, I'm very happy for you. Your tears is not about shame. It's about something good. When people they cry, it's mean they have something good in their heart. It's not because they are bad. We cry for good, not for bad. When we have feeling, when we have emotion, when we have love, that what bring tears. Criminals don't cry. Criminals they kill you and they have the as if they have not done nothing. So my friend, we are so happy for you and we say hallelujah, a happiness in the kingdom of the Lord today because you accepted the Messiah. Thank you, ZP. And I, I can I can feel from your voice that you are crying and I respect that in you. Okay, see you. All right, my friend. If you want to say something else, I don't want to uh, uh, don't be shy no, and no. be happy. We're happy for you. Look at those people here, how happy they are. They are more happy, more maybe maybe more than you because they love you really. Look how many people now they are praying for you. Okay, see, uh, speak to you soon, yeah? All right, my friend. God bless you. All right. God is good. God is good. Actually, me, myself, I do not know what to say. Hello. Are you there, Muhammad? Yes, I am there. How are you? I am fine, my friend. Are you willing to leave Islam too? Uh, after discussing Christianity, if you if you convince me, I will I will convert. Let us discuss Christianity. No problem. Let me ask you a question. As long as you want to talk about Christianity, can you tell me why Jesus is the only person he have no father in Islam? Adam has, has no father, no, has no, no mother. this is not a true, this is a false uh, argument because Adam is not born, so how he can have a father? He don't have a mother, he don't have a father, he is made from mud. When we speak about Jesus don't have a father, we are talking about a person who came after Adam, and every person came after Adam, he have a father. So what is your explanation that Jesus has no father? Did Melchizedek have a father? And no mother. Don't change the topic. Do you have Milky Sadiq yes, in your Quran? Yes. Do you have him in your Quran? You have it in your Bible. Do you have you him? Your, do you have him in your Quran? You have it in your Bible. Maybe this is Jesus himself. Do you do you know no, who is he? Do you know do you know who, yourself who is? Don't talk about names. You do not know them. So you are trying to change the topic because you want to avoid the answer. And here we ask ourselves, why even Muhammad he don't have the name in his Quran? If this is a wonderful name, a wonderful person, how Muhammad he missed such a name because he's a fake prophet. Now answer me please why Jesus is the only one is born of a woman yet he have no father but but she have a mother so this is not the question this why is not the father has this is not the question this is not the question why? this is not the question my friend you are running away from the answer why why you why why, why? oh answer please why Jesus have no father because he is a human he is a human I, I thought a human every human have a father he have a mother this is not the question so what are you saying if, if he haven't my a friend father, I'm so not saying good. to you so what I'm not saying anything I'm just asking you you are a Muslim I am not I am saying to you 
why Jesus does not have a father in Islam? Give us the reason. The reason is Allah. He he wants to show why his power. He show his power. No, he. This is okay. Hold on, hold on. This is funny. If this is about showing his power, then he showed his power already. Isn't it him who created the heaven and the earth, and he created the the the, the stars, and he created the sun, and he created the moon. What a guy who is born without a father will do will add to God nothing. So I'm asking you now, what is the reason behind Jesus having no father? Because Allah wants. Mm, this is not true. Read with me, your prophet. He said that every son of an Adam is a sinner. Is that correct? Every so son of an Adam, every son of Adam is a sinner. Yes or no? Yes. Is Jesus a sinner? Define sin. Sin is doing something against God. Sin is doing something God did not permit you to do. So, so what? What is your point? Uh, don't tell me. You see, I ask you a question. You say, "What's your point? What's your point?" Because you are terrified. What is my? This is what this is the problem with Muslims. They are afraid of my point. I'm asking you: Is Jesus is a sinner? Either you say yes or you say no. The verse doesn't talk about Jesus. So what? Is my your friend, question? I'm asking you. Did I mention a verse? I said, "There is Jesus as a sinner." What is scaring you to from answering? Is to sin. What? There is two type of sin. This is not the question. There is no two type. This is a lie. There is a sin. The sin this, is a sin. The sin is a sin. The sin of no. Adam was eating an apple. Is that right? The, the Adam doesn't. Adam doesn't sin because he didn't do it intentionally. Adam, he did not do. Adam, he did not do it intentionally. How this happened? Yes. What do you mean? Because he forgets. He forgot. Really? Yes. Where do you get this story from? From the Quran. Go to this verse. Show me the verse. Here we go. What what chapter? The chapter where he talk about uh, eating the apple in the heaven. I I, I don't know which one. You tell me. I you are the scholar here now. I'm learning from you. Where where it says he if he forgot. I, I didn't. Uh, can you go to the verse where you talk about uh, Adam and the? Uh, My friend, your Quran is a shish kebab book. It, the, the verses are all over. If we if we search for Adam, we will find it all over the Quran. So tell me what I verse you are it, talking about. I think it is in uh, Surah Baqarah. So, Surah Baqarah is two hundred eighty verses. Which verse in the okay. Quran? Okay. Let me let me search it now. Give me okay. one minute. I will give you call me after five minutes after you find it. No, no, just no, one. No, just call me after five minutes. You see the you see how much they are terrified to answer a question. Adam sinned because he forgot. Unbelievable. Sometimes Muslims they don't even listen to themselves. Adam he forgot. So Allah kicked him out from heaven because he forgot. That's funny. Now I hope he will find me what he is talking about so we can love more. Because that will make more Muslims leave Islam. And now it's going to take him maybe 10 years to find what he just said. We are happy for our brotherhood, the, the person who left Islam. 
and we hope that's and he accepted the Messiah I want everybody today to pray for him to pray for his family to pray for for him to be strong in faith and uh, very important too to pray that he will bring more Muslims out of Islam so we are happy for him and we are happy for more people to leave this cult call me if you find it did you find it or not yet uh, I will show you in the Bible where Jesus commits sin yeah right do your best my friend you see the Muslims are very silly people extremely silly I will show you where in the Bible Jesus commits sin <laughs> keep crying <laughs> you know sometimes I feel like Muslims are like that a bunch of kids and they have you know when you see a kid he's he's he put his hand in the dirt in the front of him because you do not know that this is dirt this is exactly who they are it's like a child he is eating dirt he think it is cake you no know, I don't believe let me call this guy this guy he want to show me that Jesus he commits sin in the Bible let us love just for a love answer Abdul You don't want to answer, so why are you asking me? Show you and show me what Abdul. Any Muslim? Ras yesterday he left Islam he have a question about the Bible my friend let me make it simple our topic here is about Islam I don't mind to answer a question about the Bible but I noticed that the Muslims they try to divert our topic from exposing Muhammad we have many channels they have nothing to do except speaking about the Bible go and ask all the questions you want we have a brother his name is Sam Shamoon this is what he do speaking about the Bible but go there Give him the question, he will answer you immediately. The only reasons Muslims they ask about the Bible is not really to learn. Now, for sure, some of them they are being decent. I'm not saying everybody, but we want to concentrate in what we do here. As you see, we ask a Muslim why Jesus have no father, he do not know. Why Jesus has no sin, he do not know. Why Jesus now in heaven, he do not know. A Muslim, he sent uh, a text in Facebook and he said, Name for me one miracle Jesus did different from other prophets. Name for me one he did is not different. <laughs> Uh, 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 Ras, uh, uh, ask them in the text to, to give you Sam Shamoon and he will he will answer you. Uh, guys, somebody post the link of Sam Shamoon uh, videos or uh, channel or even Facebook, especially admins. All right. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim found us answers for the madness in the cult of Islam? Until now, we found nothing. We found nobody can answer anything. That's why I say Islam is a very funny religion. It's an empty religion. There is nothing in. Islam is as solid as long you are memorizing, not asking. Uh, 
uh, a guy is saying that in Mark Mark 9 Jesus saying uh, death will not come uh, until the like uh, is speaking to people around him verily I say unto you that there is some of them that stand here which shall not taste of death till they have seen the kingdom of God come with power you can give interpretation for this according to you but the kingdom of God came in power by the resurrection of Jesus and many people resurrected with Jesus however as long you are the one who mentioned to us such a thing and claiming that this is a false prophecy what if I show you Muhammad trying to copy Jesus and he said very close words you wanna call me I challenge you to call me and to say the one who say exactly the same is a liar and he is no prophet What do you think? Scared. Any Abdul? What happened to you, Moroccan boy? You did not find it? You are searching for the verses where Adam, he forgot? Any Muslim? Yes, Muhammad, how are you? Yes, how are you? Yes, I found it. I found it. Okay, go ahead. What chapter, what verse, my friend? Chapter 20. Chapter 20. Okay. Verse 115. 115, that's wonderful. Read for us. Read it. Okay, read it. Here we go. Go ahead. You found it? Yeah, I see it. Read it. Okay, read it. How you going? Yeah, let us love together. Read it and love on yourself. Huh? Okay, but you just now gave us an arm and a leg to destroy your God. Do you know why? Because you're stupid. I want you to explain to me this verse, please. So later you will not say I did not say that. Go ahead. Read it on. No, no. You explain to me. I have it in the screen. You read it and you explain it so you don't say later I did not mean that. I want you to explain this verse for me, please. Are you saying here? Are you saying here that Allah He made Adam? Uh, sorry, Adam. He forgot the covenant of Allah. Do you want to understand this verse? My friend, you, you, exp you explain it to me. Explain it to me. Go ahead. I am not expert in tafsir. Go no, to no, 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 no. You are the one who mentioned it. Suddenly you are not expert. Okay, read for me the expert. Didn't me give me the meaning, my friend, from any from any expert tafsir you want. Just give me the meaning. Make it simple. What is the meaning no. of this verse? 
Go to tafsir, no. My friend, go to any tafsir, no problem. What is meant by this? No, I want you first to give me the tafsir, you, because later you might say to me, that the, the scholar, I don't agree with him. Give me your interpretation for this. I am not a scholar. Go to tafsir. I don't care. You are the one who said to me, are you are you swallowing your tongue now? Are, aren't you the one who said to me that Adam, he forgot, he did not commit sin? So do you stay? Do you do you hold your what you said before? Just hold it. Say yes. That Adam did not commit sin. He only forgot. Do you agree? Adam, he 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 uh, he he, he meets a sin because he forgets. No, so it's not. No, this sin. is not what you said to me. You said to me, Adam did not commit sin. He just forgot. Everybody is my witness. It's recorded. I say there is two type of sin: a sin with intention. My friend, my friend. So since when forgetting something is a sin? If I forgot, it's a sin. God, He made me have a brain cannot remember everything. So if somebody forgot to pray, he is not committing sin. He forgot. It's, it's against his will. So now I'm asking you here. Did no, Adam, did not. Adam, okay, did Adam eat the apple because he forgot or because he intentionally did? He forgot. That's mean shaitan have nothing to do with it. It is shaitan who make it to forget it. So what shaitan he said to him, how he made him forget it? He, he, he makes he make he make it to forget it he, okay he's, guys be my witness this guy he just approved to us that Islam is a false religion I want you right now I will open the Quran for you and I will I will ask you to read for me another verse in the Quran and I hope you will not be ashamed and you will not say I did not say that you are the one who said that he made him forget it correct guys did he, did he say shaitan made him forget it can I answer? You you no, you did you say that or not? Can I answer? Yes, did you say that or not? Go to tafsir of this verse. Why you are don't, 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 you will go to tafsir. Did you say aren't you the one aren't you the one who just gave me tafsir? You just said to me, Adam, he did not he the, the, the sin he commit, shaitan made him forget. That's it, correct? So he forgot that you should not eat, correct? Go to tafsir now. Why Stop playing games. Give me a give me a final answer. Whatever the interpretation is, give me the interpretation. I am not a scholar. I don't care. Me. I don't care. You are the one who said Adam did not commit sin. He just forgot. So are you consistent? Do you agree that he did not commit sin? Yes or no? And he forgot only. This is the only mistake he have. He just forgot. He did. He did a mistake. Okay. What is the mistake? A mistake because he forgot. He forgot. Thank you very much. That's mean the Quran is a false book. And here we go. If oh we go, God. hold on, hold on. Don't, don't, you know, don't come on. You know, I, I let you talk. I asked the question 100 times for a reason because you Muslims, after we get you busted, you say, I did not say that. And this is why I wanted to be sure that you are not going to play the same game. You Muslims always play with me. All right. Oh, it's my time now to talk. You are always hold on. Them. Let everybody let everybody laugh at you and at your cult. They will laugh. Hold you. on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Chapter seven, verse number twenty. Read it for me. Why you change the chapter? Go to tafsir to the chapter. My friend, you. read the verse with me, and I will go to the tafsir. No problem. Everybody will laugh. Will laugh at you at your prophet. The shaitan he whispered to them that he might manifest into them which was hiding in them and their shame and he said your lord forbid you from this tree one lest you should become angel or become an immoral but you said to us that the shaitan according to that verse he made them forget and the verse saying that actually so here we have a very clear contradiction you just brought us a clear proof that islam is a false religion what is a contradiction? It is in your mind. My friend, it says here that Shaitan, he is the one who said to them, you should eat from this tree because your God, he don't want you. He don't want you to be an angel. He don't want you to be immoral. Stop lying. You are the one who said to me, everybody heard you. You said that he forgot and the one who made them forgot is a Shaitan. So what is the sin? He forgot. But as you see no. in different verse in the Quran, you said that everybody is laughing. But but as you see, the real sin is that Shaitan he want them to do it. He told them, if you eat from this, eat it because your God. The reason he don't want you to eat because 
you, you know, he don't want you to be an angel. And then the verse funny. after Abdul, you know, you Muslims are really funny. I mean, I mean, you are a bunch of kids. The verse number twenty-two, the, the verse twenty-two will shut you up for final, for for final shot in your face. It says, "Thus, thus did he lead them." Shut up. Thus did he lead them on with guilt. With, with, with guilt. So you see it with guilt. So Shaitan is the one who lead them by saying to them, "Eat from it." Because the reason he don't want you to eat from it because he don't want you to be angels. He don't want you to be immoral. So how the other verse in the Quran is saying to us that Adam he just forgot, and this verse doesn't say the opposite that Shaitan he spoke to them and he convinced them that you have to eat from it because your God he don't want you to eat from it because he don't want you to be angels. Can I answer? Answer. Go ahead. Adam, the first point. Allah told Adam to not eat the uh, to, uh, to not eat the apple. So after that, Adam forget what Allah told him because Satan came to him and asked as you him see, he did not forget. He said he did lead them. He lead them by what? He lead them by making them agree that their God, yes. your God, said to you not to eat. I mean, my friend, just yes. don't waste my time. Don't just just don't go. Just go. Let 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 the, let the man of the house call me. I am just wasting my time with you. Everybody is laughing. There's no connection between what you said and what you are saying to me. You just said in the beginning that he made them for God. And here the verse saying it clearly that this is not the reason. Shaitan, he spoke to them and they discussed the issue. Allah don't want you to be immortal. So you have to eat from it. And thus, this is how he did lead them into guilt, into sin. Which means this is a total contradiction with the chapter you choose for me. Chapter 20, verse number 115. Adam did not forget. This is a big fat lie. And just to get you more busted, by the way, my Skype crushed. I will open it again. You're a prophet. He again, he said, if not Eve, no woman betray her husband. So according to your prophet, that Eve is the one who made Adam commit this. This is not about forgetting. Same time, you're a prophet again. He got you and he got Adam and he got the Adam of Islam busted. We go to different hadith. We see the following. What a funny, stupid cult. Muhammad he said, that the sin of Adam has nothing to do with forgetting. It is something Allah He wrote for him before He created him, which is a total contradiction of everything we heard until now. So one story in the Quran says that Allah He made Adam forget, as we saw in chapter twenty, verse one fifteen. Other verse in the Quran says, "No, Adam did not forget. It is Shaitan who told them." Your God don't want you to eat from this because he don't want you to be immortal and he don't want you to be angels, which means you live, live forever as angels. This is how he convinced them. In verse number 22, it says it clearly, thus did he lead them into the sin. And then we go to the hadith. Muhammad, he make another poo, poo He says that the reason Adam commits sin it's not because Adam is a sinner, because Allah He wrote in His faith forty years before His creation. So what a stupid cult! If Allah wrote for Adam His sin before He created him forty years before His creation, and He is saying, "You cannot blame me for my action, which is my sin." So how Allah He kicked Adam and Eve from heaven, if we cannot blame Him? And as you see, Muhammad He agree with Adam. He says, "So the Prophet added, repeating the statement three times." Which is that? So Adam confuted Moses. Adam confuted Moses, and he repeated that three times as usual. The prophet of the Trinity. So you cannot blame Adam for his sin because Allah is the one who wrote his sin. But in the Quran, you see the story is coming in a very stupid way. One verse says that Allah, uh, Allah saying Adam he forgot, and the other verse saying that Shaitan he came to them and he says. If you eat from this tree, you will be immoral, immortal. 
eat from it. Very stupid cult. And this is why Muhammad, he can't be a prophet. Because he forgot what he said in the morning. He said different story at night. So now which one of the, if the, is the correct? Which one of them is the correct one? None. Muhammad is just guessing. Some he copied from the Jews. Some he copied from the uh, uh, from, from 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 his own mind. And some he come with the logic that this is all destiny of Allah. Do we have any Abdul? Let me open my Skype again. Hold on. We have a Skype crush. Let us see. Answer. So what is what say you about this? Hello? Oh hold on, I think I crashed, so I need to set up my audio again. Do you hear me now? Hey, Christian. Right. Why are you on live? Okay, let us see who's a liar. Do you agree with your prophet saying that Shaitan he whispered into them? And he told them that you will be living for eternity and your God don't want you to eat from it because if you do so, you will become an angel. Yes or no? Did did Adam forget what Allah told him or not? No. No. He forget because he no. did against what Allah no. told him. This is not forgetting. Here we go. The shaitan, he just confirmed that he did not forget. He discussed with them. He said, your God, he, he, your God was forbidden you. Here we go. Do you see it? Are you, do you know how to read? It says your God has forbidden you from eating from this tree. And so he did against this because he uh, because Satan this no him. no read with me. It says here, thus did he lead them into guilt. How he led them, he told them, Your God forbid you, so you will not be an angel. It doesn't say that you I will make you forget. It says it clearly. That your God he forbid you from eating which mean here shaitan is confirming again what uh, what God he forbid them from doing and then the verse number 22 it says why they commit sin because this is how he led them into eating from the tree and then in verse number 23 just to get you more busted it says they said our Lord have we wrong this is this is how we wronged ourselves they did not forget. It is, it is, it is very clear. <laughs> Abdul, 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 Abdul. It's a, it's a clear, it's a clear contradiction. It's very stupid of your prophet to say. Now hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on. I will go with you. I will go with you. If Adam forget, and he ate from the tree, why your God Allah kick him out from heaven? No, he, after that he he, he forgive him. Okay, so why uh, this will make it even more horrible, guys? Allah, He no. forgive him. So why He kick him out from heaven? Did He forgive him or not? Well, it says, yeah, it says He forgive him, but He forgive him before He kick him out from heaven. So why He forgive him and yet He kick him out from heaven? This is what He wants. What do you mean? If He forgive yes. him, so are you saying yes. to me in the God of Islam? 
he forgive me still he will send me to hell no so why he forgive him he came out from heaven how the guy first of all if this is about forgetting this is not a sin I can show you your prophet forgetting Quran is, is forgetting Quran a sin is forgetting Quran as bigger sin or eating apple bigger sin you you be honest with me what is forgetting Quran bigger sin or forgetting to eat the apple is bigger sin which one is bigger none of them is a sin it's according to is it intentional none of them none of them is a sin so you are who okay look at this madness so why Allah why they are asking Allah for forgiveness if you do it intentionally or not this is the point my friend if this is not intention and he did just forget why your God Allah want to punish him and send him out of heaven he and why he's asking it what you you are the one who said he forgive him if this is not a sin forgive him for what then he didn't kick him out because he my friend him. He him out focus with me focus you just said that Allah he forgive him you said Allah forgive him and you said that Adam did not commit sin Allah forgive him yeah. from what if he did not commit sin if I did not commit or sin why Allah forgive me forgive me for what I'm sick and not a sin what I'm sick oh it's your mistake now it's a mistake there is a difference between mistake and sick. my friend no mistake. you are the one who said hold on you are the one who said forgive me for a mistake so yes. what, what 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 is this mistake? Allah He gave you only one law. Well, I have a mistake too. What is the mistake? I broke the command of Allah. No, this is a sin. If no, you the, know, see, you see the hypocrisy. You see the hypocrisy. When you want, it's a mistake. When you are, you want, it's a sin. If Allah He gave Adam no, only a... one command, what kind of Adam? This Adam who can who cannot even uh, just it, not. Eat from a whole heaven, but this this tree stay away from it. This is a mistake. Are you seeing you don't forget? Are you seeing you don't forget anything? My friend, my friend, this is not a forget, and hey, what Quran in front of you? Are you stupid or what? Isn't it the Quran says that shaitan he came to them and he said to them, Yes, Allah forbid you from eating. No, it says this is how he this okay. Do you want me to read the interpretation now? Go to interpretation of the verse that he okay. He, he we will go to the both. Are you against the one I showed you now? Are you saying there's a contradiction? That's why you don't want to see both. Go to the second to, to understand more this verse. Okay, let us go first to the one you choose, as you choose. Chapter 20, verse number 115. Are you okay with that? Go with, okay, go here we go. Hmm. You will be exposed, my friend. They will let us see. Let us see. Everybody will stupid. laughing. Already, already people are laughing. So stupid, my friend. Let us see who is the stupid here. Right? Yeah, the one who speak about long penis is the smart. Yes, this is what you love. Yeah, I, I, this is your prophet. He is I, the one who said I, I, Allah will give you endless penis. Sorry. Yeah, read with me. Here we go. This is this is your this is your interpretation. I want you to swear that you accept the interpretation and you will not change your mind. What happened? What is your Ray, I'm saying to me, okay, here we go. It's in the front of you. I'm asking you, yes. are you going to stack? Are you going to stay with this interpretation? Do you agree with it, my yes. friend? Okay. Yes, yes. So now, if this is against the other verse, then you have to agree. You have to agree that Islam is a false religion. What do you think? If this is against what the other verse is saying. You have to agree that your prophet and your and your Quran is a is a, is a stupid Quran. What do you say? The contradiction is in your mind, my friend, because you. Okay, we will see. We will, we will see. We will see. So if we show the other one, are you willing to say this is a clear contradiction? Don't impose your understanding in the Quran. I'm not imposing. Here we go. We will go to chapter seven. So here it says they forgot. Correct? Do you agree that they forgot? Do you agree that they forgot? They forgot because okay here we go 
We will go now to chapter 7 verse number 20 and everybody will laugh in a second. Hold on. Hold on. You are the one who asked for it. Live with it. Here we go. Yes, we did read it already. We show it in the screen for 5 minutes, 10 minutes. Here we go. This is the chapter 7 verse number 20. Read it and laugh with me. Why you choose it? I'm not changing it. We have to compare between the two verses. I showed you the first one you asked me for. The first one it says he forgot, no problem. But this verse here it says they did not forget. Read it. Well, he said he didn't forget. It says here in the front of you, it says Iblis, he whispered to them. This does it say he whispered to them. He whispered to them, saying, revealed to them that which was hiding based in the verbal. How you read it read it where where here it says that are, are, people are laughing this is this is a clear corruption in your book this is stupid my friend so now which one we will believe we will be if this page or this page which one is the correct one the first verse explain the second verse the second verse the first one it says that they forgot the covenant of God they forgot do you see it yes the second verse saying that shaitan convinced them to break the command of God. Shaitan is the one who command them. It is not they forgot. If we go to verse number 22, you will see again how your God Allah getting you busted. Read carefully with me. And this is how he led them into sin. Do you see it? This is how he led them into sin. Do you see it? Go to Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Oh, we will go. <laughs> okay, we will go to Ibn Kathir. If Ibn Kathir he agree with them, are you willing to leave Islam? If Ibn Kathir is willing, is uh, you see, just 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 shut my. I mean, how many tafsir I have to show you? This tafsir he don't like it. Let's go to Ibn Kathir, and then we go to Ibn Kathir. He said to me, "Go, go to Ibn etc." What a joker, brother! Go to Ibn Kathir. This is how we strip it. How they try to defend. No, don't call me. Don't call me. Everybody is laughing. We showed you the interpretation, and we can change interpretation as much as you wish. All of them they say the same. And it doesn't matter really how many times I change it, still you will say the same. Now I want you to send me text in Skype. I will show it in the screen. I want you to say whatever Ibn Kathir he's saying, I accept. Be a man. Can you? Before you call me, no, no. Before you call me, I want you to say whatever Ibn Kathir says, I accept. We are done with games. Are you willing to say that? Sure not. Because it's up to you. Right? Hello. Uh, about the verse. Do you say, do you accept Ibn Kathir? If I show you Ibn Kathir, do you accept Ibn Kathir? Say yes. Yes. Can you go to? to okay, to hold on. So, guys, in the front of everybody, if Ibn Kathir agree, he will agree. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Be my witness, everybody. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody, in a second, will see that you will say, "I don't accept Ibn Kathir." Hold on, hold on. What what is the rush for? What is the rush for? Hold on, hold on. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir, and we are going to love together. Read with me. Read a scene. Read with me. Read with me. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir, my friend. Why are you okay. changing the topic? I'm not changing the topic. This You are the one who asked me for Ibn Kathir, right? 
This is Ibn Kathir, shut up. Are you saying to me the Quran does not match the Quran? This is the Quran too. And this is Ibn Kathir. How he forgot in the other verse, how he forgot in the other verse, but in this verse, Shaitan, he lead him astray. And he said to him, eat from it. Allah don't want you to, to eat from it because that will make you an angel. Which one is the accurate? This is Ibn Kathir now. What do you want to say? The first verse talk about you forget the second get lost. Ali Shah, why you don't call me Ali so we can love? Cowards. Cowards as cowards. Do you see guys and the, 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 the stupidity? This religion cannot hold. You have to put concrete and glue to hold it together. It doesn't hold together. And this is why we saw the gentleman just before this uh, Kareem. He left Islam because this there is nothing here. Hold. This is a stupid cult. Don't call me. Don't call me. Just don't. You know. Just we are done. This is Ibn Kathir. You are just being stubborn because you don't want to say. Even Ibn Kathir, he says that Allah He made it clear for you so you don't go astray. So how they went astray, Ibn Kathir explained. So, O oh Adam, shall I read you to the tree of eternity and to a kingdom that you will never waste away? And he is quoting for you from the same chapter you are reading for me from. This is Ibn Kathir. When they want Ibn Kathir is bad, when they want Ibn Kathir is wrong. And that cannot be true that both of them, they are right. Because either he is for God, by mistake he did, or Shaitan, he did lead them into sin. Both cannot be true. Oh, this guy, I think he's the same guy who say he scream, he make bad noise. Forget him. And here we go. He said before before he called me, he said, I accept everything in the Nikathir. You see it? He accept everything in the Nikathir. And this is the Nikathir. This is Ibn Kathir. You see it? Why you keep calling me? Is that Ibn Kathir or I'm showing you something wrong? Go to Tabari. Can you go to Tabari? Okay, now so we go to the Tabari, guys. We, okay, we start with the Jalal lane. He asked me for At Tabari. We go to At we, uh, we go to, to Abdi Kathir. We go to Abdi Kathir, and now go to At Tabari. Where we are going to end tomorrow? Because Tabari, do you know what you say? Blah, 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 blah. You, aren't you the one who said to me go to Abdi Kathir a second ago? We are saying the same thing. The yeah, yeah. Hey, come on, just go, just go. Don't call me for today. Give me a break. I'm done with you. Please, I'm done with you. You see how much patience really I have with those Abdul? Go here, go there, go there. We jump like monkeys from place to place. And by the way, the question why why Jesus have no sin? They have no answer. Why Jesus have no father? They say to you, Adam have no father. That's stupid of you to say. How Adam is going to have a father if he's not born? We are talking about a person who is born. 
in the Quran chapter 25 verse number 54 it says we made every creation after Adam and Eve Nasaban Wasara, which means bisexual relationship and marriage. Every human being. But this is a mistake again in the Quran because the Quran forgot about Jesus. Your God is an idiot. How you don't mention how you say that we made all all mankind after Adam from relationship by blood and marriage. And then you forgot that Jesus is not from any. And why he is not 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 part of any, they have no idea. What the purpose? My mother, she can claim that she is virgin when she gave birth to me. Nobody can prove her wrong. There's no there's no point of this miracle. Miracles are done to prove a point. God don't do things for no reason. And this is a miracle nobody can witness for because your mother my mother she can play they, they can say now they are virgin mary after they give birth i mean here we go they give birth they lost their virginity anyway this is how the baby come out there's no way to prove that they are they was they were virgins so what is the purpose of virginity of mary and why does god did not do it to anyone else except jesus what about muhammad muhammad is the highest messenger for allah yet he is a son of a kafir woman and a son of a kafir man and now we show them the interpretation they don't like the interpretation so we change the interpretation for the second interpretation and then they don't like the second interpretation so we we'll go to the third interpretation now if we go to a tabari he might he will not like it too uh, do you think he is going to stop there no he will not <laughs> He will not. It just, you know, it's just their fiction, their stupidity. But be stubborn because this is the only way we can survive it. And now if we go to At-Tabari, we will find that At-Tabari agree with Ibn Kathir. This guy, he has no idea what he's talking about. This is At-Tabari. It says, فَوَسْوَسَ إِلَيْهِ الشَّيْطَانَ فَأَطَاعَهُ وَخَالَفَ أَمْرِي Shaitan, he inspired into him and he disobeyed me. And this is why I punished him. Do you see it? At Tabari agree with Ibn Kathir. <laughs> and now what he will say? He will say, I don't like the Tabari. And at Tabari mentioned in the contradiction, he says, Allah, Allah, he told him that, you know, we, we gave you a confident and he forgot. But in the same page, he said that Shaitan, he inspired him and he obeyed him. He obeyed the Shaitan and he broke my command. Stupidity. And then Allah forgive Adam. And after he forgave him, he kicked him out from heaven. What a madness. So what, what the forgiveness mean? Imagine I forgive you and then I kick you out from afar. I forgive you, get out. This is why you Muslims should not trust the forgiveness of Allah. Because here we go. He forgave Adam. 
And by the way, why he forgave Adam anyway? I mean, even the hadith says that Adam he did not commit any sin based on Muhammad because it was this is which is a contradiction for the Quran. It says it's written in his fate 40 years before his creation, and the hadith is so clear. Adam he said to Musa, Do you blame me? Do you blame me for what Allah wrote for me? Which means you cannot blame him. Do you blame me for an action? What action? Eating from the tree, supposedly. Can you blame me? You cannot. And Muhammad, he agreed with Adam, says, you know, so Adam, he confuted Moses. And he repeated that three times. So we cannot blame Adam, but Allah blaming Adam in the Quran. Say, Shaitan, he inspired them, and he told them, if you eat from this tree, <laughs> you are calling me with a new names? Why are you calling me now? You are talking about this hadith. Why you don't understand it? No, you explain to me. Go ahead. Do you believe in uh, in the in the, that Allah that uh, the, uh, your uh, Jesus know all all things before it happened? I don't understand a word from what you said. Explain the hadith for me. Go ahead. The hadith says that Allah before He created the creation, He knows what all all what. This is not about He knows. He said He said it clearly. He said it clearly that you cannot blame me for my sin, for Allah decreed that for me. Don't you see it? You cannot blame me. Do you blame me? Do you blame me? So we cannot blame Adam. Why we cannot blame Adam? Give me the answer. Why we cannot blame Adam for the sin which he did? What is the logic? Because he knows that Allah knows what he will do. No, this is not what it's, it's not what it says. It says Allah He decreed that for me. It says Allah He wrote for me my fate. This is what it is. Let me show you another hadith to make you more 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 clear for you. You Muslims are hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Read with me, read with me this hadith and laugh. Do you see it? Does it say does it say read with me carefully and everybody read with me, please? And laugh at this cult. Do you blame me? Or do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before He created me? Do you know what decreed mean? Do you know Qada or Qada? Yes, so Allah He decreed that for him. So you can blame him. So if no, Allah, he made, you, I, 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 you know, come on, don't call me please today again. I, 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 I'm, I'm going to vomit, my friend. Are, are you, are you, are you slow? Are you stupid or what? It says no, Allah, he decreed for me. Do you blame me? The guy blaming him for what? Blaming him for the sin. Because of you, we are out of heaven, correct? No. Yes, Musa says that to him. Adam said to Musa, you deprived us and caused us to come out from paradise. So Musa saying to Adam, shut up, that because of you, you caused us to go out to paradise. Adam said to him, do you blame me for what Allah decreed for me as an action which I must do 40 years before he creation created me? Do you see it? Yes, but your understanding is wrong. Oh, what is that wrong? <laughs> 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 My friend, everybody is laughing. Everybody is laughing. Hey, okay, read this one for me. Read, read this one for me. Does it say Allah had ordained for me? Do you see it? Allah had ordained for me. What ordained for me mean? Do you blame me for an act which Allah had ordained for me? What does that mean? There is, there is no problem in this because this this is from the knowledge of God. Get lost. I'm talking to myself. Knowledge of God. Your God have no knowledge, my friend. Your God, he think the sperm of the women, women have a sperm and coming from their ribs. Your God, he think if a woman have orgasm first, the baby will be a girl. If the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. What knowledge? What knowledge? The hadith is so clear. 
that everything I did, it's not my crime. You cannot blame me. It's not me who made you go out of heaven. It is what Allah he wrote for me in my destiny. It's an act, it's an action I have to do. Guys, do you see it says there an act that I should do? I should do. It's an act. It's like a person going to be an actor in a movie. And then the director, he says to him, you have to do that in the movie. You have to say this. You have to do that. So do you play me for a script I just did written for me as it's written for me? I did it. And I should do. I have no choice to do or not. Do we have any Muslim? If there's any Muslim who decide to leave Islam today, additional to our brother today who left Islam. Glory to the Lord. Almost every day, every day, we go live on stream, we have somebody leaving Islam. And today we are blessed that we have a brother who left Islam. He's a smart and he accepted the Messiah and he washed his sin with his tears. And this is what making the Muslims go upset to see Muslims leaving Islam. And they cannot answer me, as you see. All what they have is their foolishness. And the foolishness is coming not because you're a fool, but because you are defending the fool. When you defend the fool, you look like a fool, and you look fuller than the fool. I look smart for our following the God, the true God, not because I'm smarter than you. You say to me, let me show you this. Just to show you how will stupidity work. A Muslim in YouTube, he posed for us in one of this in, in my life in the last video I made. Why Jesus cannot be God? I mean, this is a, something they keep repeating. Why Jesus cannot be God? Why Jesus cannot be God? I wish they have a reason which can be taken as a reason, really. As an example, say to me, Jesus is a sinner. Say to me, Jesus is a criminal. Say to me, Jesus is a bad person. They cannot say that. All what they say is something silly. God cannot be born. What? God cannot be born? Who said to you that God was born? When we say that Jesus is born of Mary does not mean Jesus just started does not mean that God just born what is meant because Jesus said before Abraham I am my friend it is not this day where Jesus he just came to existence this is the flesh of the man God cannot be born Ta -da -da -da. I mean super smart God cannot be born, but God can be a leg. God cannot be born, but God can be stupid in Islam. God cannot be born, but God he will forget what he said in the previous letter or page. All what they have, look at those reasons why Jesus cannot be God. Read and love. Ten reasons. And by the way, I answer all those which is funny and stupid. God cannot be born. We don't believe that God is just born, my friend. Christians, when they celebrate Christmas, they are not celebrating the birth of God. God is exists before his the birth. We, we celebrate. Jesus said, Before Abraham, I am. Now you explain to me how that can be. How is exists before Abraham? Even the Jews they said to him, How you can say that if you are not even 50 years old? Jesus never said I'm God what make person a God or not if he say I am God no Jesus he said many time I'm God from the first verse in the Bible to the last verse Jesus saying I'm God Jesus said to the Jews what do you say of the Messiah they said he is the son of David 
he said to them well if he is son of David then how David call him God and Jesus never said I'm God I can show you tons of verses show me God show me the father Jesus said to them I am with you all this time and you don't know me what do you mean he he said I am how God he spoke about himself in the Bible when Moses asked him who are you what God he said he said I am Jesus said the same I am God hypocrite liars Jesus said never worship me a lie Jesus said not everyone says to me God God which mean worship me by saying to me God God people don't say to a person who is God 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 unless they are worshiping him not everyone says to me God God will enter the kingdom of my father but that one who do his will so there's many they will say God God and they will go to heaven and there's many they will say God God to Jesus and they will not go to heaven why because in Christianity there's no hypocrisy not like your God the funny Muslims sometimes they say to you well this verse saying it clearly that Jesus is not God the fact is the opposite because what the verse is saying that many of those who say to me God and worship me as God they will go to heaven so it's not by saying to me the word it's not doing the act you can say it as much as you want that will not make you go to heaven so did Jesus says worship me yes did they worship him in the Bible yes we can show you tons of verses Matthew 7 Judge not, that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? How wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the mote? The Muslim they speak about, we are pagan, when they are the one who kisses stones. Where is the paganism in Christianity? They are the one who bow to a stone, go around the stone, kiss a stone, and touch a stone to forgive their sin. And you are talking about paganism. So Jesus says to people like you, before you speak about little thing in the eye of somebody because you think you are blind, go and see the tree which is blocking all your eye. Before you lecture us about what is right, what's wrong, Go and look at your religion, which everything in it is false and stupid. A God who want to provide us vagina. Your God even have a lack of dignity. Because imagine I go to a God and this God, he says to me, if you believe in me, let me show, let me show you what I have for you in the box. What you have for me in the box, Allah, can you show me, please? I have naked women for you. Horny. Each time you have sex with them, they will jump on you. They will be all over you. So here we go, you have a God. But your God, obviously, is a perverted God. What about you prove to me that your God, he is the God of dignity. Guys, if you watch... The previous videos you will see the muslims they are calling me including this guy who called me today saying yes in the heaven of allah we have no problem to have sex with our mother sex with our children sex with our niece our sister our grandmother even sex with men and boys and that is god they confirm to us that in the heaven of Islam, there is no morality. And I agree. There is no morality. For this is the heaven of the devil. The devil, he invites people who have no morality to be part of his party.
Do you want to join my party? You have to be my like, my kind. You have to be the same equality I am from. Everyone goes where he belongs, my friend. The horny God invite the horny men. The holy God, he invite the holy ones to be in his kingdom. Out of thine eye, and behold, a beam is in thine own eye. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet, and turn again and rend you. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you, whom, if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father which is in heaven give good things to them that ask him? Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Enter ye in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. By their fruits, my friend. And gather grapes of thorn. You shall know them by their fruits. You want to judge Jesus? Speak about his fruits. You want to judge Allah? Speak about his fruits. If the God of Islam is not satanic, how he made his prophet in love with the children to have sex with them? A rapist, a criminal, a liar, a cheater, and all of this written in their Islamic books. How that can be? How the best of Muslims can be like this? Unless the God of Islam is the same as that. If this is the best I choose for you, what is the worst? The God of Islam, he could not find for us a better quality than Muhammad to be a prophet of God. Somebody saying he is trying to call me. His name is Hamza, right? Okay, Hamza, text me. I will call you. What is your name, Hamza? There. What's your name in Skype? I see nobody there. Okay, this is a uh, Hamza. Let's see Hamza. Yes, Hamza, how are you? Can you hear me? Hello. No, no. Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. What do you want to say okay, to okay. us, Hamza? Uh, what do you want to discuss? You're talking what about... Is, what is making Islam as a religion for you from God? Give me a reason. Anything. Uh, for First of all, we base Islam on Quran, uh, first and foremost, not scholars and hadith. Mm. And how? What so, is the proof that we should base the Quran, Islam in the Quran only? Not only, uh, we we can follow whatever hadith from anywhere, from Bible, from Bukhari or or other. Okay, sources. the Quran says you do muta. Hadith says you don't do muta. Which one you follow? Uh, can you explain the uh, the word? I'm not so familiar with Arabic. You do not know what I'm, re I'm, re I'm revert from 
Christianity. There's nothing that's called revert. This is a false. You know, you 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 are a person who believe in the devil. You are not a wait, 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 wait. Revert, revert is to believe in the same God. You can have your opinions. You can you can have your opinions. No, no, no. This is not my opinion. This is not opinion. My religion says it's reverting. No, this is not true because even this is actually this is even against the Quran. This is against yeah. the Quran because the Quran says wait, wait. that the Christians they will go to hell and they don't worship the same God. So how you say to me we revert? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Every baby is born Muslim uh, in Islam. Okay, thank that you very means much. Every baby is 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 following uh, what God. Uh, okay. Uh, like do, do babies he, will he go? Simply does do, what God wants. Do, bo do babies go baby. to hell? As long you are saying to me, every baby is born as a Muslim. Yes. Do babies go to hell? No. Are you sure? So if they go to hell, if somebody says to him, if they go to hell, what do you say to him? Uh, they, they can believe what they want. Uh, I don't believe in that. But do you say they are wrong? Well, uh, yes, in my opinion. All right. In my religion. In your religion. Well, your prophet is yes. the one who said so. I want you to look with yes, me in the screen. Yes, but I reject it because it's against the uh, Ah, the ho ho hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where this is against the Quran, it says that if you are a baby and born, uh, you will go to hell or go to heaven and this is against the Quran where it says that can you show me the verse uh, where it says uh, that uh, babies uh... you see you rejected what I said to you before even you read it no wait wait well you, where... this is your prophet this is your prophet he said uh, uh, no, wait, uh, Aisha wait, wait. Aisha yeah. wait wait wait, wait. Hmm. one second hmm. I don't consider all of Bukhari Sahih. You see, it's not I... up to you to consider. Wait, wait, you are the wait, one. Wait, hold wait, on, hold on. You wait. see, you are playing. You are playing yes. games with me. Who yes. are you to yes. consider or not to consider? Who are you? No, I have the Quran and. Uh, Who are you to consider? Isn't it Islam religion is established before your existence? It has nothing to do with who I am. No, it no, it's I have to do the, with who you are because what authority you bring to me to say I don't consider this, I don't consider that. Who are you? Yes, because so are you going to design Islam as you wish, the way you wish, the way you like, no, no, or the way no, it is? Okay, this is Islam, no. my friend. This is your prophet, he said that. So do you no, accept can, what Muhammad said say, that? Wait, wait, okay, who are you to say that this uh, uh, this is from uh, Muhammad Salah? Because you Muslims witness for that. And you're a prophet, no, who, he witness for that. Hold on, this? hold on, hold on. When no, you, you said to said me, hold on, true. you see, let me let me prove you, you let, let me prove them. let me prove right. the hypocrisy you, you have. You are the one who said to me, you are the one who said to me, everyone is born as a Muslim. Shut up. You are the one who said to me, you are the one who said to me, everyone is born as a Muslim. Who are you yes. to confirm that this is a true or not? How you how you were able to know that this is a true? Because every uh, uh, child is uh, born in uh, upon the fitra. What fitra mean? It means innate nature. Like it, it means uh, upon uh, like uh, God breathed into them. My friend, and, uh, my friend, my uh, friend. Let me show you how stupid what you just said. So everyone is born based on the fitra, the same hadith, right? No, upon they're born upon the fitra. Yeah. My friend, okay. The same hadith you showed me is the same hadith so will prove Muhammad right is a false wrong. prophet. Now you cannot say I don't agree with this hadith no more. Uh, wait, wait. Are you going to say to me after I, I read, read the hadith? After I, I read, read the hadith for you, yeah. it is not okay, sahih. Read the hadith. Okay, here we go. It doesn't matter if no it's, baby uh, is born. Read with me. Chains, okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. The, the chains, no baby, baby, no baby is born. Wait. Hold on. No baby is born. But upon fitra, it is his parents who make him a Jew or a Christian or a polytheist. A person said, What yeah. is your opinion if you would die before that, before reaching the age of etc.? He said, You know, uh, Allah knows best what would happen to him. This is the same hadith you said to me. A guy, he said to him, What if somebody die before he reached the age to know? Yes. He said to him, Allah knows best. They say the same hadith you gave to me. So how you said to me a second ago that a child who is born, he will go for sure, he is just a baby, infant, he will go to heaven, and you didn't agree with the one who said that, and this is the same hadith you gave me, says Muhammad himself is not sure. Oh, wait, 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 it doesn't say that uh, babies go to hell. Or it that, says uh, that, it says it's no, only it Allah knows. It, it says yeah. Allah all alone who knows what they will do would be doing. Yes. You do not know because no wait because this is uh, a fallacy because you are saying <laughs> that wait wait you're saying that uh, Allah doesn't know 
uh, who he can No, judge. I am not saying that. I'm not saying that. No, because, because no I'm they, not saying people, that. You are slow. No. You are slow. I am saying no, that Muhammad said. Muhammad said. Muhammad said. Muhammad said. I didn't say Allah. Allah oh, who, let me explain. Let me explain. Don't be slow. Use some oil of oil in your head. Hold on. No, wait, wait, wait. Shut up. Shut up. You're, you're, it says <laughs> Allah alone knows. They told him, uh, shut up. Shut up. Let me explain to myself. Let me explain myself, my friend. What's wrong with you? Will take me a second to explain what I meant. Don't don't guess what I meant. It says okay. here, they ask him, what will yes. happen for those who die before they became mature? Before yes. they can recognize what Muhammad said. It is he, it is Allah alone who knows what they would be doing. Yes. So it is only Allah knows if they will go to heaven or to hell. I'm not the one who's guessing. So they ask him, what will happen to those who they are children who die before they reach the age of maturity? He said, only Allah knows. So how you confirm to me when I call me, I said to you, if a baby child, he go to if he, if he die, he will go to hell or to heaven. You said to me, he will go to heaven. I said to you, if somebody says different opinion, is that wrong? You said yes, and this is your prophet. The prophet saying only Allah knows because this is not a decision to make based on sin. It is a decision made by to, to base on Allah because Allah, and this is the total agreement with the other hadith I showed you, where a child who is born, he might go to hell. Uh, this is against the, the, the whole point of uh, my friend Islam this is the whole the against both your because, point but this is no, the hadith you accept the says, this is the hadith no, you accept no. my friend this is the hadith no. you are the one who caught for me you are the one who named for me you are the one who said this is the proof that you are wrong and now i'm showing you what you accept are you no, going to deny no. now what you accepted a second ago no this is a big fallacy because it's it says before it's a big fallacy a, it's a big a fallacy balance. i agree with you but isn't it you who caught this right. hadith for me isn't it you who caught the same exact hadith for me Yes. Okay. But so how now the same hadith you caught for me? It was sahih a second ago, and now you are saying this is a Pharisee. Muslims. Guys, look at the hypocrisy. A second ago, this is the correct hadith to prove me wrong. Now we read the hadith for him, we explain it to him, and now he said this is Pharisee. I agree, this is Pharisee. Islam is false. And now not only this, let me get you more busted, my friend. You yourself, are you you, you said to me you are a person who convert to Islam, correct? Um, my terminology is different. No problem, but yours. but you were not a Muslim, right? You are not born of a Muslim family. Well, if I was born a Muslim, then I was at some point a Muslim. Yes. So are you a born of a point, Muslim family or uh, not? As we see in Please this, make make uh, make the answer habit, clear. Why you why you play I games? Will, why you play games? I'm not asking you about Pepsi Cola. I'm asking you. No. Are you born? Are you born of a Muslim family? Yes or no? No, I'm not. Okay, this is mean your prophet is a liar because your prophet saying that your parents is the one who made you Christian or a Jew or polytheist. Yes, but in your they case, did. none of those it cases. Not lie. What? In this case, not, your case is not of those cases. If you are born from a Jewish family or a Christian or polytheist, you became a Muslim. So it's not your parents who made you. So Muhammad is a liar again. No, 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 this is a big fallacy again because uh, it doesn't say that it says that in the front of you. Make, no, who is the one no, who made you believe no, in a religion? Say, it, it, it says that, that it says no. that. Stop being a liar. No, who no, it, it says, it say says, it, it say says that. that you are became a Jew because of your parents. Read with no, me. No, it doesn't say yeah, it, says it, it says that. It says me, that. Yes, me, yes, but not everyone. Not everyone. <laughs> Not right. everyone, it says everyone. Yeah. It says so everyone okay, is born okay, a Muslim. Born, you see how we are okay, shooting wait, wait, yourself. Wait, wait, wait. It let's, is you, let's go this. Let's go this. it is no, you who said this. everyone no, is born as a yes, Muslim. So, what explain. is the original? Okay, let me explain what I mean. If, if you have a baby, you're a Christian and uh, another Christian, and they uh, adopt a baby, it won't be necessarily grown up as them, right? Because if you are born, don't tell them, me, tell, right? you, tell that to your prophet. Your prophet saying everyone it is born as a Muslim. To be, Abdul, to, to do Abdul, that stop being stupid. Parents, stop, stop being stupid. Being stop a being a stupid. You are born right. as a Muslim, as you do said with to them me. Growing up, you are it has a, to do with them growing up in certain circumstances that are outside of. Get lost. You did not even were able to handle 30 seconds talking to me. You got yourself busted. And this is the proof that Islam is a stupid religion because Muhammad himself is not the son of believers. How then you say to me that you became what you are because of your parents? How you say to me you became a convert? And you are the one who said to me that a child will go to heaven. And in the same hadith it says no. 
Nobody knows because it might be here, it might be there. And this is in total agreement with the other hadith where Muhammad he said to Aisha, stop being stupid, Aisha. It might be the otherwise. For Allah decide destiny for people before He created them. And the hate in front of you. So look what they do. I don't like this hadith. This hadith is very embarrassing. Oh, the prophet here looks so stupid. I don't like it. I reject this hadith. Ah, uh -huh. so you know what? I don't accept this one. I accept that one. Okay, we go to the one he accepts, we found it more stupid. Because why Muhammad in the other hadith says that only Allah knows what will happen to the babies if you go to hell only if you commit sin. You should be sure. Correct, guys? Why Muhammad he says only Allah knows what will happen to those babies? Aren't you going to go to hell because of your sin? No. Islam has nothing to do with going to sin to hell or not with by sin. It is what Allah wrote for you. And this is why Islam is the most stupid cult ever. So you speak to yourself, you try to spoke over me because you don't want to listen, you don't want to hear, you don't want to see, you decide to be blind. And you will leave Islam. Count my words. You are struggling inside you now for being stupid. The same hadith you quote me is the same hadith getting you busted. The problem is that when a Christian prince he reads something, sometimes the rest of the world don't see it, especially the Muslims. It's in the front of you. It says exactly what I was saying to you. And it's the same exactly is a contradiction. Because if you are now did not reach the age to be a child of a Jew or a Christian, that's mean you're still a Muslim. You know what I mean, guys? As long as I am born as a Muslim. So why in the world Muhammad do not know if I will go to hell or to heaven? I'm still a Muslim now, supposedly. I'm just a baby. My mother, my dad, my father did not make me be something else yet. So why Muhammad saying maybe uh, we don't know? This is stupid. This is a pure stupidity. But because you Muslims, you have low IQ. You decide to, you know, when I say low IQ, I mean you decide not to be smart. Why well, you are calling me again? Huh? Do you believe in this church or not? What? I don't understand. What? Are you saying Jesus doesn't know? Do you have, do, 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 this is about knowing, my friend. This is about going where? Do you go in Islam? Do you go in the heaven in Islam because you commit sin or because your God He made a destiny for you? Why a child who never commits sin, a child who is a baby, why he will go to hell? Explain to me. Here we go. It's in the front of you. Where he say here? Here we go. Read it. This is Sahih Muslim and this is Sahih Hadith. It says that Allah He created those who go to hell and those who go to heaven when they are in the lions of their back in, in, in the back of their of their father backbone. Aisha, 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 she thought, she said, Oh, there's a happiness for this child, he will be in heaven. Ah, uh, party, party. Muhammad he said to her, Don't 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 be stupid. Uh, shut up, shut up, Aisha. Don't be stupid. It might be the otherwise. Do you see it? It might be the otherwise. So Aisha, she is guessing what? Aisha, she said, he will go in paradise. He will be a bird of paradise. Muhammad, he said, it might be the otherwise. What is the otherwise? Explain to us. Do, do you know why the Prophet, he said this? Because he wants to teach Aisha that the only God who, who knows who will go to My friend, to my friend, don't be stupid. It says, he, he continued, he did not stop talking. He said, because God, he created for people of paradise when they are in the backbone of their father. And those who for yes. hell when they are in the back of their father. So here we go. This baby never commits sin. This is not only about only God knows. This is about that God decide already. It's not about knowledge. It's about who decide. Read for me. He created people of. Who said? Is it Aisha or the Prophet or the God or Allah? Get lost. In China, they say. He left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. And I cannot make you a horse, sorry. Don't try.
isn't it clear you, this is not about challenging God you know if you ask me a baby child he commit no sin why he would go to hell I would say he would not go to hell because the logic of God that you go to hell for committing sin as simple as that I'm not going to go to hell because of my kind because I'm a human no because I commit sin so here we have a child why Muhammad is saying no he created for people when they are before they are born before their birth but this guy he's trying to say to us well because he said God he know the future what the future he's a baby he have no future guys do you see the stupidity he have no future the future I can play this game if this guy will grow he will become an adult he might kill he might rape he might commit adultery he might, he might this is a baby an infant what the future this is not about knowing a future what the future this guy will do poo poo we knew his future already he died since he is born until now he did nothing except sleeping and crying and doing poo poo <laughs> guys you understand what i'm saying what if we open the file of this infant what we will find at seven o'clock he did poo poo at 7 30 he was a crying at 7 83 his mom she changed his diaper i mean this is stupid so what is about knowing the future this guy he have no future he's a child he's a baby so knowing the future will not change anything sometime i feel i'm speaking to cartoon you know cartoon mickey mouse the mouth is open and close, open and close, open and close, but there is no brain. There's no brain. And sometimes I wish I'm stupid, honest to God. Because when you are stupid, everything go fine. Those people don't make you upset. Because sometimes I feel I live in different galaxy. I'm not coming from, I mean, I don't know what, what kind of people those people are. How, how you cannot see it? What the future? What he knew the future? This is a baby. I know the future. Tomorrow he will piss more and he will do more poo poo and he will cry. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> now I know why the word foolish is exist. You have to be mentally ill, literally. And I feel sorry for those men when they get married. I mean, imagine this guy and this guy, he will be a father and he will teach his children wisdom. If the father is like that, what is the kids will be? And what will happen to the wife? Islam says that women have half a brain. If you Muslim women have half a brain and your husband don't have a brain at all, so who's going to teach the children? God, you know the future. This is a baby. What the future? And he die. madness and stupidity and the other guy he said to me the prophet says everyone is born as a muslim what does that mean i mean this is the most silly stupid thing ever born as a muslim he said shahada i agree when i was a kid i was obviously i was a muslim because i, I used to do it in my diaper this is the only thing you have to prove that this is this is a muslim No brain. Put some dirt in the front of you, you put it in your mouth. That is a Muslim. Camel urine in front of him, he think it's whiskey. He drink it. That is a Muslim.
anyway guys tomorrow we will be here again at 3 p.m eastern time and i will be with the upper state prophet we will podcast my channel and his channel so feel free to join whatever you wish of them so my channel will be open tomorrow earlier than 3 maybe 2 30 something like that or maybe even two i will see and then he will be uh, we will join the two channels together me and the opposite prophet i think many of you know him already um, so be with us and join us and we pray that is going to be good for all of of those who want to learn and my friend if you are a muslim your problem is the following you are trying to defend a stupid prophet and that make you look stupid i don't want to insult you but you are insulting yourself for believing in such a garbage a child he might go to hell even though he commit no sin jesus said if you don't become the same as those little ones you will not enter the kingdom of my father it was a requirement to be honest like them they are the one who will go first your god saying the opposite and this is stupid in different hadith muhammad he said if you don't commit sin allah will destroy you and he will replace you with a nation who commits sin so allah he like those who commit sin what a silly cult if we don't commit sin god will destroy us and as you see, this is Sahih. This God, He like those who commit sin. By Him, in whose hand is my life, Muhammad taking a serious oath. And when Muhammad he take a serious oath, it means he would do a big poopoo. Get your tissue, open your window, turn on the fan. By Him, in whose my hand in my life. If you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence and He would replace you by those who would commit sin and seek forgiveness. This is the fantasy of Allah. Some of us like to watch movies, action movies. Some of us, we like to watch romantic movies. Some of us like him music. Allah, he like to watch sinner people who ask him for sin. Otherwise, he's bored. He will call Jibreel, 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 do something, brother. Those people are not committing sin. I'm really getting bored. Oh, Allah, please, don't, don't destroy them first. I will make them commit sin. What the heck? This is God? <laughs> if this is God... Who is donkey? He want people to commit sin so he can have fun. He's bored. Imagine people, they are peaceful like angels. I mean, this is boring for Allah. We want some rape. We want some action. huh? Killing, thief. Some guy is going from the window when a rape of women. Uh, a guy is chasing a little girl. He want to kidnap her and rape her. Ah, oh, yeah, we like that. You know, not people who they are good commit no sin. I would destroy them all. This is boring, disgusting. And you are telling me that this is God? And this is the one you worship? No, I cannot call Zach and Nike because Zach and Nike, he accused me because I'm calling him after the middle of the night. He accused me of sexual harassment. I told you once of the time, don't call me after the middle of the night. And if you call me, I'm going to call the police for you. Brother Zach and Nike, but we have no other scholar except you. You are the only smart Muslim between all the Muslims. There is a sister asked you a question. Why a Muslim woman, she can't be a prophet. Can you repeat please what she said, what you said to her? Our sister there asking question. Why in Islam there are no women to the Prophet? And this is a very legitimate question. The reason in Islam, for sure, for sure, I come for to you. In Islam, there are no women to the Prophet. 
And the reason for that is very limited. If a woman became a prophet, you have to read the congregation. If you read the congregation, you have to bend over and you have to pray. And if you bend over, the Muslim will be disturbed and they can't pray. Brother Zach and Nick, are you saying that she cannot be a prophet because of her ass? When she bent over, everybody will look at her ass? Exactly, brother. So if we have Muslim in front of us, and he is the woman, and he is leading the congregation, and he do to do, and we do, and he is leading bent over, the Muslim, they will go crazy. And he's right. Do you remember the hadith where it says that a bunch of guys, they came to the Caliphate Uthman and they said to him, we have an imam who is a gay and he is seducing us with his ass. ass. Uthman, he said, so what? Pray behind him. But here you notice <laughs> The funny about this story, why those Muslims are suffering from fitna and trial if he is just a gay? That's mean they are getting tempted by his ass. That's mean they are gay too. Because if a gay he bend over in front of you, and that is a temptation for you, that's mean you must be a homo. Otherwise, how you get tempted? Correct? How a man can get tempted by a gay who is the leader of the prayer? And this is what Zakir Naik was saying. If a Muslim woman, she did the prayer, the Muslims will forget about Allah. They will focus on her ass. Those people, they are tempted by an ass of a gay? Well, you, you must be a gay yourself. A man he got in trial because of an ass of a gay, he must be a gay. And by the way, the Muslim they read this hadith, they don't see nothing wrong with it. Until you until you bring someone like Christian Prince and he explained to them like peace by peace. Like you have to take it piece like this, okay, but it here and next to it another piece, and because they are so slow, they cannot digest their own books. And then the caliphate says, Will you pray behind him? Okay. And then the poor Abdur he said, Oh, okay. It looked like we have no choice but to do salat behind a homo. That is Islam, my friend. I'm not going to stay longer. I know there's 900 people listening, but we are done for today. I want to say thank you for everybody. If you like to learn more about Islam, if you are a Muslim especially, because most of people who read my books are Muslims actually, feel free to get my books from Amazon.com or Amazon Germany or etc. And we have it in many languages. And my friend Muslims, sorry if I offend you, but I am here to say the truth, and the truth always offend people. The truth is more important than me and you. Saying the truth is offensive. It hurt, but it's not my fault. I'm here to save you. I don't hate you. I don't hate Muslims. I will never hate Muslims. My Lord, the Messiah, he said, love your enemy. We love you. And we will never hate you, even if the God of Islam try us to make hate to hate to hate each other. I will not do that. I will not fail to the trap of Satan. I am here because we love you, not because we hate you. May the Lord guide us all and show us the truth. And the truth will set you free. And this is why Jesus said, I am the truth. And Muslim they say, Well, he said, I am God. One of the names of your God is the truth. Your God trying to copy the name of Jesus. But there's nothing truthful about your God. But yet he's trying to say, I am Jesus, worship me. Jesus said, I am the Alpha. I am the Omega. I am the beginning. I am the end. I am the resurrection. Whoever believe in me and die will live. And yet you say to me where Jesus said, I am God, worship me.
I am the resurrection I am the life I am who I am I am the Lord I am the beginning I am the end I am the light I am the Good Shepherd and there's no good but God thank you very much for being here and may the Lord bless you see you tomorrow at maybe 2 p.m. New York time and we have our interview with apostate prophet be here and join us and tell your friends thank you very much